There we go. Well, yeah. Um, okay. So, we are now live, everybody. Um, basically, we've been chitting, chitting, chatting about um, new movies and stuff like that. New movies, new shows. It's all the big threat. You know, there's no small time just an evil arms dealer stories anymore. It's not like we've dealt with the big no. threat. Now we can go back to purging the small time criminals that are thriving because we've been off distracted taking down the big bad. It's now everything's a big bad. And I mean if if anything there's the local crime is actually decreased because it's like holy shit if they can defeat this world ending shit. Yeah, no, actually yeah. that's one thing you don't they... think about is like Batman has fought freaking dark side in the comics and one is like why would anyone want to even try well here's the thing one. like in in marvel canon right now the bad guys are flourishing because the heroes are off they've infiltrated governments and all sorts of stuff because they're like hey these heroes are so busy taking down world-eating threats they're not going to bother with us anymore we're too small time for them so we can rule this world and they won't even know so and that's daredevil the... shows up yeah, they haven't done anything with Daredevil. Daredevil. Oh, protects a neighborhood of a city. Yeah, like, but they haven't I do done miss anything Daredevil with them. I do miss with Daredevil. It's just Hell's Kitchen. Like that like I will say that is still my favorite like Disney Marvel property. My favorite Marvel property overall is the X-Men movies cuz I mm. honestly love those movies a lot more I than think, MCU. I think they're they're trying too party? hard to get everything fit in though. Like we haven't finished it but we started Secret Invasion, and we, we've enjoyed it so far. But I, I felt like it was – that was huge in the comics. It needed to be more wide scale than – here's a little six to eight episode miniseries. Um, to be fair, you could have said that about Civil War too when they just gave it one movie and had yeah, like eight heroes beating the crap out. Like that was so disappointing. I'm like, no. Yeah. It, well, yeah if we I, want to talk about that, Civil War was what? Because one of the most intense Spider-Man sequences with that all is black. true. That is true. Because multiple too, I think. Wait, which one are you thinking of? Because I'm thinking of when he broke into Kingpin's cell. And yeah, no, that's all black. Him. Okay, yeah. That's where he goes, and he like deliberately is like, I he does that, and then he goes and gets the symbiote suit deliberately because he's like, yep. <laughs> and like literally does. threatens to shoot webs down. Into Kingpin's lung so that he chokes to death if Aunt May dies. Like, yeah, that is that was so. I love awful. my boy. I love him so much. That he does nothing good. wrong. The times when Peter is angry is just, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Peter Parker can do nothing wrong, and no one can convince me otherwise. E That's except true. that whole uh, thing where no. he made a deal. With the <laughs> no, except. No, <laughs> no, no, except. I, to no. be fair, that wasn't him. That was the writers. That that's there's only shit. one time when he does something wrong. That's when he tries to stop Miles. <laughs> nope, he's perfect in every way, shape, or form. There's nothing you wrong mean with him. In multiverse, I'm talking about Marvel. it across the Spider -verse. Spider Verse. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've seen it. Doesn't count. You haven't seen the Spider Verse Wait, movies. How, it is. Those good. are my two favorites. Into I actually the Spider Verse controversial... good across the Spider Verse. Don't see it for a while. The what? controversial opinion i still call myself oh, a spider-man yeah. super fan despite not seeing right. any any of the spider-man movies since um homecoming that's a good one so so yeah, i will say uh to be fair, into the spider-verse like... good into the spider-verse is pretty good it's very good i have seen that i don't one. i don't recommend watching across the spider-verse i cannot recommend watching across the spider-verse right now because it is oh i know why movie. i know why yeah yeah, it, it's a part one. It's, it's an incomplete one. movie, and they have no one. idea when the next one's gonna come out. I see. It is a part one, and it they is are a part one. they they do like five years between those movies. So <laughs> if you watch well, it now, my, or like me, the first week it came out in theaters, and we're like, all right, fuck me. 
Well, everyone was like, "Oh, it's coming out next year," and I was like, ha, 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 ha. "No, yeah. these guys take one, their time," then, which I appreciate. Well, no, well, freaking uh, they were writing, and they and then they realized, ah, oh, this is too big. Big, we gotta split it into two parts, and they started working on the first part. And then, right after the movie came out, one of the people that was working on it was like, "Guys, everyone, the the company, like the." Like the main company, like Sony and all those, were like, "Oh yeah, next year." They're like it's not coming out next year. We were working right. on this film up until like two weeks before it was released, mm. and well, we and we uh, have not even in that time we have not even touched the second part. We right. haven't even started on it. Yeah, I know. I think freaking Spider Punk alone took like three, four years to fully the animate. Art, I mean, for the fact that, that that yeah, yeah, for the fact that their style of animation is so heavily stylized and it, each individual character is so That's individually stylized. And, and they have forever. so many Easter eggs within Easter eggs within Easter eggs. You can tell how things are going, the mood of the scene, just by stuff in the background, the color All the way, all the way down to the fucking frame rates. They mm -hmm. use frame rates to even they do. tell it's stories. It's very they, like, well done. I appreciate that they're taking their time with it. I wouldn't want them to be long anyhow. Okay, I do. I, agree I with... will say that I do. I don't actually. Oh, like, we're live live. Just oh, generally, yeah. I said that. Generally, <laughs> uh, general soundtrack. Yes. Yeah. Soundtrack I with agree like Born Stellar. Yeah. Soundtrack it's with like so actual good. like music, like lyrics and all that. That's... No, I don't agree. I think the first one was better. I like the lyrics. Oh, music. The first, first one is definitely fire. better. The... Although yeah, the second well, they, one they still got, has good they... music. They got a bunch of different artists to like collaborate and do stuff for it. Whereas this one, it was a single artist that did everything. Yeah, I like which the, is fine, but I liked the lyrical soundtrack from the first one better. I liked the soundtrack soundtrack to the second one better, just because if you pick apart the individual themes, you can hear certain themes that I won't say for spoiler reasons that play in all the themes. And it's kind of an underlying tone that this individual's theme ties into all the others. And then this individual theme is actually a bass. It's the same notes. It's just played differently as this person's theme. And it's like, oh, I didn't think of that before because I didn't see the connection. But I was hearing it the whole time. It was the same notes played differently. Just a different tempo, <laughs> different um, accents on the, on the different notes. Very well done. Um, same theme played very differently it sounds very different i will say the that, first mark one is, our dm yep i will say the first one is better though because it has my boy freaking spider-man noir love that man to death love the comics love him in the games love him in freaking first spider-verse movie mm -hmm. he needed to be more in the th second movie and damn it he needs to be in the third movie He's kicking ass be. again i know i, we I just, just gotta wait to another him. half decade <laughs> Uh, I, I need to see my boy boxing though, and I need to hear Nicolas Cage again because yeah, I thought to cast him as Spider Man <laughs> that was, smart. was amazing. Anyway, I'm sorry. So everyone, uh, to remind us of where we left off, um, Marcus is alone with a bunch of NPCs in the Fey Wilds, <laughs> surrounded by an angry Fey God um, yep. and his army. Uh, Callie is splitting the party. Yeah, Callie has uh, just made up, more or less, with her half fade goddess, ha half demon, uh, half arch demoness girlfriend ex. Not I would say this is a changeling, but this is another level of changeling. Yeah, <laughs> um, more changeling, not D and D race changeling. Right. Realize basically, there's a, Callie. There's a different. I mean, Callie didn't. Callie's hurt. winning. Callie's, Callie's winning. winning. And, Callie's and winning Aaron, at D&D. And... <laughs> <laughs> Callie, I got Marcus. I got to kiss girls, and she's an heiress to two different ultraplanar uh, kingdoms. Hot. <laughs> Plus a kingdom on your plane. That is true. Uh, Sir Wellington and Abigail uh, are about to have a very interesting conversation with Callie. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're all kind of together now. Yeah, you three are together, I... and Marcus is just in the fucking Feywilds alone. This was supposed to be a full party event in the Feywilds, and you guys just aren't there. Listen, if I didn't Marcus listen tried, to Marcus tried. Okay, I yeah. got kidnapped. That is true. Like yeah. this, this whole campaign can be summarized. Uh, as I mean, not Marcus all of, yeah. tried. 
So some of you are there, some of you are not there, some of you tried, some of you didn't try. Abigail just died. I mean, but she's back now. It's okay. Marcus tried, though. and he failed. I mean, not, he didn't fail. He got a dat twenty online against Overon, which mm -hmm. I still am so shocked that he got that. It's like how, how the fuck. And right? me and Matt still have guttural reactions to the we name do. Overon. Yes, <laughs> we we have like I, I don't want to say PTSD because I don't want to undermine. But yeah, no, we, we so much hatred. We have so much hatred. You have D and D so much hatred. DNDSD. Thank you, Markham. DNDSD. DND stress disorder. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it is. DNDSD for that smug little prick. Oh, little D -D -D yeah. Post DND post stress disorder. Oh, uh, yeah. PDDI. PID. PDDI. Don't hurt yourself now. Post D and D induced stress disorder. Alice gonna put the. <laughs> we'll invent Alice our own una... thing. Just watch the medical field. We're coming for you. Alice uh, una punta madre. Yeah, it's okay. Um, and I'm riding high Anymore. off of the weirdest Sunday session that I play in with a, a local group, where uh, one of our players was also left alone with the big bad, who is a powerful vampire. Um, all but two what? of the party were turned into zombies, and then me and one other were like, yeah, no, we're rogues. We're getting out of here. We can't take on the monk, the barbarian, and the fighter who are zombies, but still get their class ability attacks. Um, <laughs> what? Yeah, it was not looking good. So she turns around and goes, okay, I'd like to seduce the vampire, and <laughs> proceeds to literally death by snoo snoo that guy. Hell yeah. All while yeah, looking like a 20-something-year-old version of Raven yeah. from Teen Titan. Because her character was cursed. So um, like uh, I see no fault there. <laughs> yeah, yeah no. that's just <laughs> a good nice, time. It's not exactly that, a curse, I guess, at that point. Like I can only like, strive to be a 20s version of Raven from Teen Titan. She rolled three Dude. nat 20s in that combat with the, the vampire. Three nat 20s to outpace this... 500 year old vampire in stamina so he got that three levels of exhaustion died the she way was fine. most of us wish we could <laughs> exactly <laughs> well more or less once she figured he was weak enough she grabbed his ward and his spell book opened up a portal so everyone could escape and broke the ward so that all of his own cerberus hounds ate him so it was great up until that moment that's that's not delicious never mind I'm not gonna... <laughs> Okay. Any horror. So yeah, yeah game. I'm I'm ready for any sort of chaos because I was just sitting there watching the DM's face as she was like, I would like to keep going with this. And he was like, Okay. Excellent. I would like to <laughs> Stacy's mom. Yeah. And she's Here. got it going on. <laughs> I would like to flirt with the Fay mommy. Yep. Oh no. In front of Stacy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, there's, uh -oh. I, I don't know if anyone listens, but Ooh. there's an artist named, on YouTube, named uh, Anna Patsu that actually did a version of that that's Stacy's dad, where it's Stacy's dad, yeah. And where someone it's her also, friend. Someone also did uh, Stacy's dad, uh, uh, Stacy's brother. Oh where it's like, gosh. everyone I but poor Stacy. The, the trauma Stacy has. Stacey. Everyone finds her family Stacey. hot. Yeah. And they're like, Why? <laughs> Because Stacy's got butterface. I don't. I don't fucking know. Hey, I. I would. I would date Stacy. She. Okay. I'm sure she Note is. Note to self, hun. We can't name our kids Stacy. Oh don't. my god. Is that a plan? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna die. Debate. Anyway. Um. So yeah, I need Abigail and Callie to make Constitution saving throws. Sir Wellington, you're immune to this. Off the rip. Okay. Yeah. Don't come sit Yeah, Marcus. I mean, Marcus is going to step in. Hell yeah. Ten. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. No, I don't want to do that. Enjoy your faith food. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. We're definitely eating. Holy on shit. On save. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're all eating. The ones that you guys are historically very good at. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, damn. Damn. Abigail. Abigail is unaffected uh throughout the course of conversation callie feels a little bit in love with um deidre's well. mother 
Ah! Okay. Stacy. Oh, wait. Abigail is just Stacy. Deidre's mom has got it going on. Have you seen her here before? She definitely Damn, has. I didn't oh, know that. Oh, yeah, no. I, she could um, crush me. Abigail, however, and Sir Wellington, who's immune, just kind of look at her and go, I guess I see it, but not for me. <laughs> don't tell me how I feel about her. <laughs> I'm not magically inclined to it. No, but we still all do want to want, want to smash the, the giant archfey mommy lady. Yeah, hold on. It's not a magic effect. It's just regular. I mean, that's, this is just... that's true. You're not pulled more than normal. So her natural aura actually simply magically seduces people just because of thought... her, her who she is that's literally one of her things she can unintentionally seduce literal gods wasn't yeah. abigail supposed to be the straight there. sibling mm-hmm. uh... wasn't abigail the straight sibling no i don't make straight siblings <laughs> okay <laughs> no, it's Why would you do bi or lesbian she's the bi one she's the bi sibling well actually i think Abel Abel's isn't bi as well bi sibling no. <laughs> I, I just make the tokens. So that's right. what's going on in band practice. So everybody's gay. Those are the rules of D and D. No, <laughs> that is the rules of D and D. Everyone's going to be gay. Uh, yeah. What about right. Marcus, though? <laughs> you get. You're going to figure it out someday. <laughs> we believe in you. The, the 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 streamline from religious man to gay man is a straight line. It's the straightest thing about you. <laughs> there were times in college I wanted to ask my 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 ministry friends, sure you're not gay? The way you're talking about guys. <laughs> Just saying. That would have gone well, mm. I'm sure. Oh yeah. Uh, no, you're I, not I, able to hold hands so, college. So this is this effect is happening, what's going on? What? Oh, um Callie Callie is on. Callie is slowly falling in love with it's Deidre, right? I have my note. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Deidre. Deidre. Okay. Yay, I got it right. Um, with the, I was thinking maybe it's Dolores, but I was like, no, no, wait, that's Dolores is uh, Micah's girlfriend. Um, yeah. Well, rest in peace. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you know, you know, you make a lot of D names for your lesbian players. You do. I do. Dolores, the... Deidre, Delvaruski. Wait, what, I'm wait, sorry. What? What, wait, who, who's wait, with Delvaruski? Okay, you're gonna she's have to explain her. She's the aquatic dragonborn. No, I'm aware of who she is. Who no. she's with? Yeah. Oh wait, that's right. Yeah, none of us. <laughs> that's 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 a George Lucas on my part. I mean, to be fair, I think yeah. I remember my mom. Lesbian, Your mom died but... at childbirth, <laughs> and then you went on and kissed your brother, and then said, "I knew you were my brother." So make up your huh? mind. <laughs> what is eh. happening? Any whore. The force is delayed. <laughs> <laughs> Any whore. Yeah. Strong I'm baby. struggling to eat a brownie. Yep. Oh, wrong Callie brownie. is turning oh, even more happening? lesbian. Going for the MILF now. Oh, gosh, mm-hmm. no. You no, know, you're 14. 15 now. Still. <laughs> we're, we're in high school now. We're grown. <laughs> you can't do it. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I okay. Marcus. Okay. Yeah. Let's so go. Marcus told me like, what? What you "Would doing? you guys like to like to pick up with um uh what a little bit easy for you to say?" <laughs> um, Callie had questions. Mm-hmm. So at this point, you've kind of been you know googly eyeing um the Fey mommy across mm-hmm. the dinner table as you eat um. As you guys kind of kind of conclude your meal, the undead servants are still there, kind of like looking around like, this is kind of weird, uh, especially the devils that are there. But hey, the fey goddess is here, and she's on the same level of power as the archdevil who was their boss, so what are they going to do? Who is now <laughs> currently banished. Right? <clears throat> They're not too happy about this. Um, the undead don't give a shit. Uh, but as you as you finish up, it kind of pops back in your head. You had questions for Sir Wellington. He's right, just over we there. He's just over there numbing. Yeah, num, he's. Num, 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 I feel num, like num, he's num, completely num. forgotten. Yeah, there was. Or he's just. Good uh, at it. I'm the worst. I don't remember the P name. Perseus. 
Nope. Pedantic. Nope. Pureness. Who's... Now you're just being a silly goose. The um, other word that sounds like Proteus. Pureness, but isn't. Yeah, Proteus. Proteus, yes. Yeah. Now we're now we're extra confused. I think I was... uh, Wellington. Yeah. Yeah. This might be a a weird time to ask, but because you were seemed weirded out by it before, who's Proteus? Well, I think you know more about that than I do. You have no idea who Proteus is. Not really. I've heard a lot about him, but I don't know much about him. Okay, because last time I saw you, you ripped your skin off and became perfect. That's why... <laughs> why are people impersonating me? <laughs> I witnessed the skin ripping. It was kind of gross. <laughs> I don't do and, skin ripping. And then you went to go hide and find a little door, and then like you hit there like a coward. And I came running. You don't remember me trying to knock on this this door with my axe, like here's Johnny style. No, I feel like you might have like tried to knock down doors before when we were playing hide and seek, or when I had treasure. But I don't remember that you were angry with me. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Can I go hear this, by the way? Oh, yeah, you're right there. Does your skin peel off? Dolores is sitting right next to you eating. Deidre. Why, I mean, would, my I guess... skin, why would my skin peel off? Does your skin peel off? That's a I mean, I, actually, um, I, I, actually, skin does I peel off from time to time. Uh, usually, it, it needs to be replaced by fresh skin or it's grown, grown too dry. Um, okay, I'm not talking about the dandruff that I get. That's another story. Oh, okay. I just wanted to clarify, and Dolores goes back to eating. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing okay. the one that they're talking about is like the like. This is rip and tear. <laughs> yeah. Doom style rip and tear. There's one way to find out. I, I would rather not. Here. Please, please, please. I don't. I don't. I will think we should bite you. Basically, I'm just so hard. I don't think it falls. Abigail is just like, wait, come on, let's see if your skin's a tear away. <laughs> you know what? For science. <laughs> well, no, that's not a good idea. That would hurt. Okay, then do it yourself. Just you know it what else come hurts? Off. The fucking claws that you like you scratched in my chest with. See. <laughs> I'm sorry that I have longer nails than most. No, these were like little... You look like a little raccoon. Man, I'm a, I'm a bandit. No. It's vicious. You sent off so many bad vibes. Did I before that? You were a little weird before that. Like, we walked into a room and you had, like, this headache, and then, like... Well, I haven't had a headache in a long time. When was, the, the like, the last time you felt you had a headache? Um, it was very, very brief, but it was when we were at the, at the castle after, after we had gone into that treasure room, remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, there were there was like when I was grabbing all the different stuff, uh, mm -hmm. I had a brief headache after that. That was the last time that I really remember having a headache. Interesting, interesting. Armchair psychiatrist up, Kylie up in here. <laughs> Can I, uh, Sir Wellington, give me a history check? Oops, I'm I'm going down. Oh no! There you go. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, it's the last time he remembers having a headache. Interesting. Because it wasn't shortly after that. 
that we walk into a room trying to escape this castle. This exact castle. Actually, wait, we should go down there and see if it happens again. See if it was the room. Are you sure that's a good idea? Which no, room was but, it? I, it was, oh... It was right because we the were in this castle earlier, and we uh -huh. and I and I and I chucked and I chucked a a a, a what was it, Margaret? Like a ruby? What, what it was, was it that ruby. I chucked? Yeah, it was a large ruby. Yeah, I chucked a large ruby through a portal and destroyed a portal. We should go back to that room. But right. we were just down there. It was me and Abigail. And a barian and Who? his the old dude from oh. the ship. Oh, okay. The didn't wizard. Care. Oh, got it. Didn't care. Still don't. <laughs> How do you know? Speaking of he where just, is he? Uh, wait, was that was that uh Faye Mommy that no, was saying Dolores. that? Oh, Dolores. Okay. She was there. <laughs> Hey, mommy has yeah. watched for a long time. Bot twist. She wants Cal. She set up Daedra with Calia by manipulating the bits. But yeah, so I mean, we can't. We can go down to. But you there was go down a, there to see if there's something we, in the room that like mess with your brain hole. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that was not okay down there. I know. It was also kind of cool. <laughs> but... What's cool about piles of my friends? That part is kind of gross, but the fact that there's like, you know, how often can we say that was not dead okay? I was kind of cool. And, uh, how often do you see it? Well, think about where we are. Think about where we are and what we've done. How often do you see a dead body? Not as often as we probably should have. I've been in a jar. Why were you in a jar? I don't know. Ask Abigail. I didn't... He just like slowly turns over to <laughs> Abigail. I didn't put her in the jar per se. She That's not the, the question. Was... Why was she in the jar though? I don't know. <laughs> Abigail, you, know, you definitely put me in the jar. You were going to sacrifice her like you did me. You, were you? absolutely did. And no, like one of your little I homies gave me a tail. Why were, you, why were you trying to sacrifice? Oh, excuse was me. It... You sacrificed me. I'm sorry, hon. But was you... this when I came it's in true. and I did you, do that. And you had the book and you were like, ah, da, 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 da. oh, no, 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 no. She, she, she cut my throat months ago. Yeah. And all I know is I woke up from that jar still inside of the jar now with a tail. I didn't do that. Wait. No, but one of your wait, little wait, homies wait. did. Wait, She's when, not my wait. homie. I'm going to Yo, fucking okay. kill her. Wait. wait. When did... So... For Abigail, for you, how long ago was it that you were in the room with Histon doing the, 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 the ritual? How long is it? Like a month? Two months? A few months. I think it's been like three? Uh, it's been... No, actually. I think it's only been, it's been like a, a month. A week. Oh. Yeah, a month. It's been a month at I, the most. Cause I when, thought it had only been did, like a week or two. Because when did Marcus see the Thane go through the portal? Yeah, it hasn't been that long. Oh my it gosh, happened. it's been about a week and a half. Okay, that's yeah. what I figured. It's been 10 days. It's been 10 days. <laughs> <Yeah. since laughs> all the shit. <laughs> we are going like massive spans of time. Like, all right, and here's like three months of you guys just kind of doing this. And now it's like a week and a half. Oh, boy, shit's hit the fan, guys. It has. You're telling us, Mr. DM, man. Uh-huh. Anyway, anyways. Hey, it's not all my fault. It's almost like you can control the die. She's, I can't control the dice. So I can control the narrative to an extent. No, I the can... die. You haven't seen that meme. I'm probably the only one who has. You're probably the only one who has. Yes, no one else. I cannot control world. the die. Anyways. About, I don't know, sometime, like two weeks, a week. I don't know. <laughs> it's only been that long. Gee, 
Please. Talk about your wants. <laughs> I forget that time moves differently, but damn. What do you want me to do about that? It's, it's, been, it's been like a month and a half for me. Because you're short? Because <laughs> you're short? <laughs> Or whatever, like sure. small lifespan I'm... feels like it's more of your percentage of time. Sure. Yeah. Or the, or, I mean, I just got back from the Baywell. Time moves weird. Oh, you were in the Bay Wild for a little bit. Yeah. But I kind of heard. Bit. I heard some cool music and then ended up here. Hmm. That seems lucky. You know, out of all the horror stories that I've heard about Faye, yeah, it could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, it could have been. But no, <laughs> then 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 it got found by Daener uh uh Daenerys' mom. No, um da uh, Daenerys. Deidre. <laughs> Deidre. Yep. Daenerys Targaryen pops in. What, what happened? <laughs> Sorry, I I, I, I think I'm in the wrong universe. Where's my dragons? <laughs> I was I was looking. John, at John Snow, Daenerys. you know nothing. I told you that. Now I'm in a new world. I'm just kidding. I I was now looking I at know pictures nothing. Of, now I know Daenerys nothing. And <laughs> now we all know nothing. The no true one knows ending of the story. Everyone's like, you gotta kill her. She's gone insane. She keeps talking about other worlds, and then he goes in and is like, I'm sorry, I have to do this, and she's. Boop! Vanishes, and he's like, "What the heck?" And now she's here. <laughs> there we go. That's the true ending. She just blips to another world. <laughs> oh my! Except Marcus and Barth. All my characters would sin. Anyway, let's go. Yeah. All of them would. Anywho. All of them. All of them. You can't deny. Good boy. <laughs> you. <laughs> Marcus is a good boy. Marcus would still sin. There's no other greater dragon mommy in this world than <laughs> There's his dragon mommy. That's the biggest <laughs> dragon mommy in the world. There's no greater dragon, dragon mommy in this mommy. world. Alf Dean, mm -hmm. Alf Dean will let out a very right, a, she attractive chuckle at your um <laughs> what does that mean? at your flustered behavior. Um, I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> Um, because she's seen it a lot before. Um, and as you guys are discussing how it could have been a lot worse and how scary the Feywilds are, let's shift to the I'm Feywilds, nerf where I'm Marcus is, gay, okay? is standing at spear point of Oviren. <laughs> Little Oviren. The spears don't matter at this point. He's standing in front of Oviren. He's standing in front of Oviren. Oviren. The spears do not matter at this point. Hell, he'd probably take his, the spears. He's got his toothpick, yeah. and he's like, ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't, but his his numerous Eladrin and other fey creatures, satyrs, etc., are are holding the spears. What? Yeah, he has satyrs in his service. Okay. What do you think? What do you think Corin Corin once was? <laughs> That's true. She was in his service, but not holding a weapon. <laughs> well, there are different departments. These ones signed up different for military. Department. <laughs> so different departments of Stater. I should not be eating pickles on stream. <laughs> you gotta pay for that. <laughs> you're gonna pay for. You're gonna pop up online as a meme later. You gotta pay. You gotta pay for that. That kind of service. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm uh, sorry that I pi that pickles and brownies sounded good for a for a stream snack, and then I regretted you, my decision. Are you pregnant or something? What is pickles and brownies? <laughs> yes, not together, separately, but next to each other. Separate but together. That's yeah. not better. <laughs> Anyways, like a kid today that wanted a banana and then proceeded to dip it in sour cream. It's <laughs> the palate is not cleansed between bites. You're okay, gonna... <laughs> Let, let's let's just get back to Marcus again. Yeah. So Marcus, we're well, trying to see snacks aside. <laughs> again, questioning his life choices. He will grow to six feet tall as he's fluttering in front of you and, and land as he does so. His arms crossed quite s well, crossly. <laughs> Okay, what was the last thing that he said? 
why are you trying to steal from me or something along those lines yeah so th that's what i thought or wait was it that or was it or like one of your kids? little one of your little friends has stolen from me that's what it was you know i'm not gonna risk another net 20 on that <laughs> he's going to just no he actually is he's going to try and okay Okay, is not, Marcus going to try and fight God? What's going on here? No, he's... <laughs> Our gonna... little level 10 selves? <laughs> they... Yeah, no. Yeah. I could All right, barely Micah. do that with a level... T I could barely do that with a fucking level 20 character. Three level 20s struggled. <laughs> level 20 struggled. I'm not doing it. Three level 20s with NPCs struggled. With NPCs. Yeah, you lost quite a few uh, of those. I have to follow up questions on that, by the way. Okay, uh, so not bad. I don't think it's going to work, but a 19 for deception. We give an insight. Uh, it's a 21. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's close. Marcus though. got a. Marcus All got right, some, what does don't... Marcus say? What does Marcus say? He, don't he... join the garden. Huh? Whatever Wait, you do, don't join the garden. Yeah, no. He's going to, like,. Remember that one bearded golden sculpture that was next to Corinne in the future? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so he's going to... Nope. <laughs> again, don't know how he's good at lying, because he taught never to lie, but somehow he impresses himself. He's like, what? And he turns around and goes, kids, I am... I'm surprised. No. These kids are nice. They are a little bit rambunctious. I will not lie. I have caught them a couple of times doing things that they shouldn't, and he will genuinely turn to them like, I re remember what you've done. And he, But they would ever steal from anyone <laughs> as powerful and nice and forgiving as you. Mm -hmm. Powerful and... He's going to, he's going to walk he's going to, to like just give me a I'll give you I'll give you uh, uh give me another check deception I... check oh, okay uh that's a okay that's a that's another 19 okay now I get to roll <laughs> Okay. All right. He'll like, he'll kind of like for a second and then kind of. Very well, my friend. Perhaps I was mistaken. But if you won't mind my guards searching their persons, if they are innocent, I'm sure their pockets will turn up empty and he will put a put a shoulder around you with a, an incredibly firm uncomfortably warm and, and welcoming grasp yep i i know i know that that's a lot margus will just like just kind of just stand and go mm -hmm. and he's gonna just look to the kids just like please like he has that look of like just just i don't know dude just yeah, no, he's just hoping that they're stealthy enough. Use your him. prison pocket! You gotta do... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I was gonna say, we gotta do that uh, now you see me bit. <laughs> they just yeah. pass it yes. along. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm, he's gonna look at kids and just, like, briefest <laughs> look. Briefest look of, like, that... I assume he can do it without anyone looking. Can he? Like, give him a look of, like, that thieves can't. You don't know that. Well, and not thieves can't, but just a look of like, <laughs> okay, pull some shit, do something. Need to hand sanitizer. Fair enough. Um, the kids will will set down their packs and open them up. They don't, for the most part, have pockets. Those that do, like, turn them out. Like, yeah, not in here. <laughs> and uh, the various Fey will proceed to, um kind of uh kind of look through everything mm -hmm. um 
And um, they'll kind of, you know, they'll, they'll kind of kind of come back to him and be like, uh, well, one of the uh, one of the aphids, which will you know like go inside the bags just to double check, will then flutter over and kind of whisper something in in his ear. Um, give me a perception check to see if you hear what he says. Okay, perception I got. Oh, why didn't I get that? Okay, that twenty perception twenty nine. Really? I'm yeah. I'm not joking. All right. All right. He he flutters up and goes. There is nothing in their bags, my lord. They are clean. He goes, well, that's quite interesting to know. Thank you, uh, Lord Sergio. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I like Sergio. That's a good name. Why not? This guy's name is now Sergio. <laughs> hey. I mean, you have a Kevin, name. so Sergio is fine as well. He, all, all the fake can have very just generic names. Right. Yeah. So it's Sergio. <laughs> we all know it's not an actual name. That's true. Or is it because they're whispering to each other and this is his lord who already has control over him? That okay. is true. Wisdom check. <laughs> oh yeah. Give me a give me a wisdom check for my my my, oh, my, my Marcus. <laughs> Why? Which one? Marcus. Milo you isn't too, here. You have, you have too many characters with M. Yeah. If it's for the, Matt. If it's for the Mar- if it's for the full name, Marcus did not say his full name. He literally just said Marcus. No, I need a wisdom check. It's mortal, full name. Oh. Wisdom check, not a saying. Okay. Sorry. Uh, okay, that's not bad. 21. This is definitely this phase true name that Oviran just whispered back to him. Kind of an assertion of dominance thing. Yeah. Because this Makes is sense. one of his underlings. Call me yeah. daddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That sorry. daddy energy. We know, we know his son. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but for an assertion of dominance, don't doesn't don't Faye themselves have to use the full name of other Faye of of mortals. With Faye can be a partial name. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. You will turn to Marcus and go. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. But get out of game, out of game question, Selkie. Does a uh, phase apology mean anything or no? Phase apologies, no. Okay, fair enough. Marcus, no, having known this knowledge about Faye and everything, well, just simply, uh, just bow his head respectfully. I go, no, I do realize you want to keep things safe, and that is very admirable. So, no harm done. Are these youths going to be assisting you in the uh, event for tomorrow night? Oh, I actually have to think about that because I don't. He's going to look at his like I don't know what you guys are able to do for parts, but I'll have to get back to you on that, honestly. But maybe if they got some, that can help. I mean, if they have something. Very well. Well. Uh, give me another perception check. Okay, not bad. So, uh, hold on, doing math in my head. 26. Okay. 26. Twenty-six. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Why are you rolling in our dice channel? (laughs) What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you why why are we seeing this? I Mm. I'm so afraid. Uh, what was it again? It was a 26? Yeah. Alright. Um, you feel that Oviran is stalling for something as some of the smaller pixies and other individuals are still flying around. Like, they're either searching for or placing something. I'm not quite sure. 
Do I have eyes on the bags? Yeah. Do I see anyone putting anything in them? With a 26, you do indeed see a couple of uh, smaller sprites, pixies, fairies, and aphids smuggle themselves into the bags. They are different. Yeah, Yeah, they are different. Hmm. I don't know what to do for this, but can I do like a wisdom check for Marcus to see like if he knows what will happen if he calls out you have no idea Um, don't want to be rude don't be rude don't be rude they uh, you have no idea you can do a uh, let's do a history check a religion check to see what you would know of of fey rules Um, okay with the 26 you would also pick up they they're only sneaking into into four of the bags Okay. Uh, that's a 23 for religion. 23, not bad. Yeah, you don't want to be rude. You don't want to be rude. Be rude. And it would be very rude to call out like, hey, you got four fey going into the bags. Probably. Okay, mental note for Marcus. Gonna dump those bags. Alright. Uh, He's going to mentally take note of the bags that the Fae are in. Oh, okay. Question. Are any of the bags the Fae are in belong to the kid that was able to steal the two gems? You don't know. You're not sure which kid stole them. They never divulged to you who had it. I thought they did. Like a bunch of them went down there. A yeah, bunch a bunch of them went down. Back. A bunch of them came they, back. They, they, never... they said they were successful. Yeah. They never but said, they never said one of them they, had they it. Okay, but he but he was able to see which bag, which of those four bags belonged to which four kids. Yes. Okay, he's going to definitely take note of that. And yeah, sorry. So to some eyes, uh, as soon as a Oran says that, and he sees the four <coughs> different kinds of fey, or the four fey, go in the bag. He's going to take note of the kids whose bags that belong to, and then remember, oh shit, I got to ask which kid stole the bat thing. And he's just going to not go. Remind me again, that was the party was when again? I just don't, I just don't want to be late. I, I don't like to be like, I have this thing where if I'm not five minutes early for something, I'm late. So it's just that kind of thing. The party is in approximately 14 hours. 14 hours. All right. I could do that. Just, sorry. Just had to double check. Don't worry about it. Fay hours or real hours? Uh, Fay hours. Oh. oh. Well, he didn't specify. Actually... Give me a uh, give me an intelligence. What's the check. difference between regular hours and Fey hours? Uh, fey, uh, fey... Time moves weird in the Fey realm. So time yeah. moves okay. weird. The Fey yes. gods can control time. So if he wanted to, he could progress it fourteen hours into the future right away, and he could be like, "All right, time's up." Uh, that's Just like that. Intelligent. Because each section of the Fey realm, uh, Felia, is controlled by the individual uh, Arch Fey that rules over it. And they can control all time and space within it. So some could bring time to a near standstill. Other where basically even a mortal would live forever because time's just not moving. And others can progress it so fast that a mortal would grow to a very ancient age and then wither up and die and shrivel into a skeleton in moments. Okay, that's a... uh... You don't want to fuck with the fae. That's a 17. 17. Now with my question would be with this is time still linear a linear forward progression for them. As far as everyone knows, yes. Okay. As far as everyone knows. If it's not only the archfey themselves are aware.
All right. Uh, with a 17, you're able to kind of process. Hmm. This is. Okay. It's. Yeah. You have 14 hours. You're good to go. 14 hours from now. You're just thinking standard time with a 17. You're, you wouldn't necessarily be familiar with the concept that he could change how fast those 17 hours are passing. Okay. All right. Okay. He's going to just nod and go, all right. Sounds good. And uh, just to make sure the kids help out, and as a little warning, with the snap of his fingers, the three who don't have Fey in their bags immediately turn to gold. <laughs> uh, uh, wait. Now uh, you can definitely use them in your party. Every good party decor. needs good decor. Shit. Don't fuck with the Fey. Don't disappoint me. I really look forward to this event. Me and too. he will fly away. You too. <laughs> you saying this like when the, the most... wa when the waiter says enjoy your food, <laughs> right? You too. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just like he's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. The the Fay that had grabbed um, <clears throat> gosh, it's been a long week. Um, your little your little fairy buddy. Whose name escapes me right now? Um, uh, Kevin? Kevin? No, Kevin? Kevin? Yes, it was Kevin. I was thinking Henry for some damn reason. Um, no, the other the, st standard white name. Yes, the uh, the the Fay that had grabbed Kevin uh, release him. Um, give me another perception check, real quick. So many perception checks. Yeah, I'm making you roll a lot this section. I know. I'm terrified. Uh... Well, you don't have the b benefit of doing a three-person role-play scene, so that is, you get to that do is the true. dice you get rolls. rolls. Yeah, you, you either get roll rolls. or you role-play. Uh, that's, a, that's a 26. Ugh. 26. Uh, Ihanala disappeared right before they arrived and hasn't shown back up yet. And so they're all gone, right, except Kevin? Yeah, at this point, they've all left. They as okay. soon as the as soon as three of the kids turned to gold and Oviran flew off with his posse, um, they've all left. Um, Ihanala is still missing. The other four kids are really shaken up now, and Kevin has been released. Okay, so as soon as they're gone, he's gonna turn to Kevin and go, uh, "Where's Hanala? Where's she? Wait, he? She? Uh, that's that's he." Thank you very much. He pops out from like a pair, a nearby set of bushes. Oh, okay. We didn't lose you. All right. No, but I had oh. to hide. Our, I'm guessing. Okay, that is concerning a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, why would that be concerning? You, they just searched for gems, and you didn't know who had it, and they said everyone else was good. Wouldn't that lead? And he was with them, so wouldn't that means he has the gems? Well, no, because right now he. Wait, hold on. Sorry, my brain. Um, <laughs> I'm still trying to recover from You're good. today. It was fucking hell. Uh, it was a Monday. It. Wait, it's not even Monday. Oh, that makes. Oh sense. yeah, it's oh, not. Gosh. It's Thursday, but anyway. Uh, but no, Mark is like, okay, we got the gems, and now we have someone that Oberon probably hates, so we're probably more screwed. So, anyway, let's just do that. And we go. He'll go to Kevin and go, all right, uh, Kevin, based on how much you know about, he's going to point to where they came from because he does not want to say his name in case it does some like Beetlejuice kind of shit. <laughs> Oviren, Oviren, Oviren! Ah! I'm just kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna go. Uh, how? That's just the undead. How fucked are we? Probably pretty fucked. Um, <laughs> Micah, Micah, Micah. All right, we, we have time. I'm going to. I am going 
to go. There's a portal uh, oh, not far from here. Way. It's only a couple hours away. I can get there. I can get the mortals <laughs> you need for, for this, okay. this plan. And I will be back yes. before the party. You just need to get back. Hanala here will help you with cooking. He's very good at baking cookies. Uh, so once we get that straight, straightened out, uh, we should we should be ready. Uh, yeah. As for them, he we, looks at the the three kids. Um, I can't tell. Before them. he goes out, he's gonna go. He's gonna point to the four bags that the uh, Fay are in and go, and like mouth. Like he's mouthing that there are four phases. Is in he those doing bags. this just so Kevin sees him doing this, or so that Kevin and the kids and Hanala all see it? Oh no. Everyone's seeing this at this point. He's going to go. He's as soon as Kevin's done talking, he's going to go. Okay. Um, the hobgoblin boy, uh, draws his, his sword and proceeds to start hacking up all four backpacks viciously. <laughs> Um, three of them fly away. One, as it flies out, gets bisected right from head down to crotch. Okay. Okay. Um, you know what? You know what? <laughs> are they within, are the bags within 10 feet of each other? Are the bags yes. within 10 feet of each other? Mm -hmm. Okay. Magic circle. Magic circle that shit. Trap the fan inside. Oh. Immediately. It works. It works. They, boing, 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 boing. They're bouncing off it. They can't get through. <sighs> All right. <sighs> He's going to look to the hobgoblin and get him just a look of like, I appreciate, no, I don't appreciate the enthusiasm. What the fuck were you thinking? What? You saw what they did to our friends. Yes. And we j all right. All right. They're trapped. That's a good thing. All right. And he's going to like go to the fan and go, and I do wonder what you three were all doing. Us three. Wait, didn't he just bisect one? Oh, oh, you're talking to the. I thought you were saying Ehanala no, and to the Kevin, and it's like, what the? Who the heck's the third? Yeah, one got bisected, so there's three left. Um, they are, they are, they are just now. They're just arms crossed, wings flittering. They don't look happy. They met. Oh, there's an aphid. Bug uh, zapper. Right. There's a male aphid. There's a female fairy and a female pixie in there, and they're just. <laughs> Oh, you ain't gonna talk. All right. Uh, how about this? Uh, he's gonna like motion to the uh, hobgoblin child. Uh, can you do a few more swings for me? Just just give a demonstration a little bit. With uh, pleasure. He actually hits one, lops off her arm. Hits another one, uh, injures uh, his wing, and he like. And the last one, she just ducks. I'm going to roll. Again, not what I want. There's a demonstration. No. <laughs> He's just realized, like, now he no, has to be. No, no limbs. <laughs> like, Having Marcus... limbs is a privilege. Marcus looks your privilege at this in horror. <laughs> and is like, oh, shit, I have to be very literal with this fucking kid. <laughs> yeah, 16-year-olds you need to be very literal with. Trust me, I teach. You can tell how much uh, he... <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's why there's a lot of okay. teenage drama is because there's a lot of hormones processing things. They have a lot of things going on in their minds. It's very hard to, to process things. And when you're like speaking in code, basically, not always good. Fair enough. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Marcus is going to look at this in like objective or like it is obvious that is not what he meant. Go, uh, yes. <laughs> Just... <laughs> That yeah. was too much of a demonstration, wasn't it? A for effort. And he's just gonna pat his shoulder. But he'll 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 like open his mouth and just walk out of the circle. No no no. You did alright. You did alright. Just just tone it down a little bit. Get Hang two of the fair screaming in pain. Uh, hold on. He's just Going to, oh wait, no, he can't regenerate limbs with freaking healing word. Nope, but that's he can heal it over. Huh? He can heal over the, you know, the injury at yeah. least. So he's 
He's just going to sign go, Santa. And he is going to heal them for... Oh, yeah, he gets a long rest. Sixteen health points to the two Fey that got. Well, hit. they are definitely both back at full hit points. Um, one is still missing an arm, and the other is still missing a wing. All right. You will always fly to the left now. Unfortunate. <laughs> He's no, just he on just the ground, in flying in circles on the ground. He can't get <laughs> yes. off the ground. Learn to walk, bitch. The rest of us right. have to. Okay. Now that that is cleared up. What were y'all doing in the banks? The last uninjured Fae is making an intimidation roll. Okay. Ooh, not bad. 17. Well, with a four, she is now <laughs> terrified. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, t I'll tell you what you want. Just don't kill us. Or hack any more of us ap apart. Wow, the fear of a fear of a cleric is greater than fear of God. <laughs> he just go. He will say in the most common voice. Well, the thing is, you... their God might just turn them to gold. If they die here, they're not coming back. That's true. You are. If in they lose a limb here, they're not getting it back. Wait, it's game can over. Mar can Marcus try and remember this? Roll religion. For if you oh, remember this, you... fuck yes, fuck yes, that is a nineteen, so that is a fucking twenty-six. <laughs> yeah, you remember that anyone that dies on their home plane like this, unfortunately, the the downside of being immortal, even if you have an immortal lifespan, but if you are from a mortal realm, you perma die on any plane of existence you're on. However, beings like Fey, Fiend, Celestial, etc., if they die anywhere but their home plane, they just regenerate a new body in their home plane. However, if they die in their home plane, they're dead dead. <laughs> it's game over. Uh, like it. And he's and to be double sure, because he has the fucking morning Aberrant Destroyer Morning Star. He's yes, just he going he just going to realizing all this like uh, What's it made out of? No, Aberrant Destroyer Morningstar can kill, like permanently kill. Well, Fae. that's not, that doesn't matter, though, because it permanently kills them on any plane. Um, yeah. But you're on their home plane, so any weapon now permanently kills them. Yeah, but it does extra damage to them. It does though, extra too. damage, yeah. He's going to like realize this and just pull out the Morningstar. All right, you're going to get... Uh, tax, uh, not tax, uh, checks with advantage against her now. <laughs> there you go. I'm yeah, sure don't you get, don't you get a tax and advantage anyway with Magic Circle? I don't know. Well, Probably. to be fair, it's, it, it's intimidation roll, so yeah. not advantage. Or not attack. So still. Yeah. He's gonna go, alright. I think you get, there's things um, that affect the, the creature trapped on the inside. I'm sure you recognize what uh this little thing does, right? Yes, yeah, okay, yeah. I get it. I get the picture. We're dead. Good. I just want to be clear. L now. Stop, stop. Lord we're already us, dead. Lord, Lord of Aaron told us to follow you until we found who has the ruby, okay? There it is. All right. So he still suspects one of us. All right. And, uh... I guess just how long do you got to go to over over on? What? When are you supposed how to How long we have back? to go over on what? Are you supposed to report back before the party, or are you supposed to wait till the party? It's however long it takes. One of you has the ruby. You it was stolen. All right. Hmm. Hold on. Let me double check something. Oh, it's only an hour. He just sort of just. Heaven, what do you think we should do? <sighs> Am 
Well, we can't let them go. Can't. Uh, I'm averse to killing them, however. All right. Hmm. If we... Oh, that works. As a... Clunk, little jar just clamps over one of them. And it's a jar. God. Again, as, jars. As the, as the goblin girl. Um, it... it... <laughs> so, the jar is filled with just... There's this... Um, Bits Iron of... fillings. What? Iron fillings. No jam. Iron filings. What? <laughs> jam. jam. Oh. No one ever asked Suffocate, what the goblin whore. girl does. Um. Suffocate, bitch. No, no, no. Marcus. She... So uh, you look over and you see on the ground next to this girl's bag, which is now hacked up. Um, she has dumped out all the jam in her in her little. He, she apparently made a bunch. Some of it got smashed up by the sword. But those that she survived, she took and she dumped it out onto the ground. And now she has three jars, which she's poked <clears> little <throat> breathing holes in the lids of. And she's running around in the circle trying to catch them. She successfully catches two, but the one missing an arm is just dodging out of the way. Dodge, dodge, right. uh, uh, The uh, ones inside the, the former jam jars that are still filled with sticky jam residue are now getting very sticky and kind of stuck in there and not too happy about it. Ah. Especially the one that can't yeah, fly. Yeah, it's like the web spell, but like way worse. Yeah, basically. Way worse. Yeah. If you're eight inches tall and all of a sudden you're in a you're in a strawberry preserve jar with the residue all in there, yeah, you're pretty stuck. I'm sorry. How tall? They're like six. How tall are your are your jam jars? Huh? I mean, jam How tall can... are your jam jars? Ours are like the size of water bottle. We get actually bigger than this. We get really big jam jars. Yeah, especially if you go to a farmer's market, you get yeah, you get, like you get the big, big ones. Jars. And for you know, and like, they're super and you go to farmers too. market. They they last mm-hmm. long. They, they last, taste amazing. They do. And because you get a lot of it. If you're gonna make it, you use one of those big mason jars. Yeah. You don't use a tiny little jam jar. You but use the motherfucking mason size. jars. These size. You know. Yeah, no, size. we get bigger. <laughs> but you know, go to a farmers gonna, market. Support your local Apparently. preservative makers. Yep. They so catch Marcus, pay for you. They do. So At Marcus is going to see this. Then I shouldn't go. <laughs> you want your own pet fairy? <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, no, don't go. So you would be captured. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Marcus is going to see the goblin girl. Like, first off, he is so proud. He is just like, yes. Yes. She's <laughs> bringing around like Yoda or baby Yoda hunting frogs, I guess. Yeah, true. Uh, can I help her capture the last one in the jar? Sure, I'll give that roll to her with advantage. Cool. All right. Yeah, no, she catches the last one. So they're all in little jars now. <laughs> He's going to turn to Gongro. Good and job. She, <laughs> and she will take it and proceed to shake them a bit. As one does. Yeah. Uh, right, Why uh, are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one just hits his head wrong, goes immediately unconscious. Uh, all right, I am kind of concerned of how easily you try to do a violence. Okay, that's good though. That means we got no one reporting. You have him distracted. Him. All I had to do was grab him. That that is fair. You you did a good job. You did a very good job. So what are we gonna do about the Vitro girls? Uh, uh, all right, hold on. Uh, can Marcus do an arcana check to see if, because he does have greater restoration, all right. he wants to see if maybe it can restore them? Give me an arcana check. What do I even have for Marcus Arcana? Let's check that. Uh, that's a uh, not as good. A fifteen. Uh, this is powerful. He could probably do it, but it would take time and effort. You know what? I got a level five spell. He's gonna just go to one of the girls. Oh, it's frozen. Look, go. All right. Uh, this might take long, but uh, 
Uh, here, let me let me just try it really quick. And he's going to put his hand on the head and try and cast Greater Restoration. Nothing seems to happen. Shit, all right. Yeah, that's, that is definitely going to take some fucking time. Give me a, yeah. Uh, you could guess probably a long rest per kid. Long rest per kid. Oh, shit. He's going to look, look at them, all the kids, and go, all right. Um, okay, I, I can get them better, but going to take a day for each to get better. If I were Their eyes kind of go wide. No, 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 no. Hey, at least it's fixable. Look, first we need to get through right now. That's the most important part. We got 14 hours to make a party. If he... Oh, wait, Faye can't lie. Nope. Well, I'm sure there's some sort of trick up here, I I, I think. So are we get, just a... going to leave them there? One of the one of the Dragonborn kids will pipe up. Well, we can't leave them here. Uh, how heavy are they? How heavy would a five foot two golden sculpture weigh? A lot. Oh crap! He doesn't. He's not a. He doesn't have a spell. A lot. That. I guess. Can he try to like see if he can lift it? Give me a strength check. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, unnatural twenty. Eh, yeah, it'll take a while. He can kind of, like, waddle walk him back. Like when you're moving really heavy furniture. Uh, how long? It would just, you'd be at half movement speed. Well, more like a third movement speed. So, ten. Ten feet per turn instead of thirty. Okay. Uh, can I get hmm, can I get them uh, in time to still work on the party? How, like how long is it going to take for me to get? It would so it would normally take you about maybe forty five minutes to get back. Uh, with this, it'll take three times that. So oh, sure. that's going to be one hour. For uh, all of them, or for each. If if the other kids are are working together, you could probably get all get back in about three hours. It'll take you about six ish hours to go back and forth for each of them. Oh shit! And we can't all carry them all at once because there's only. Yeah, no. The two dragonborns are younger and smaller, and the goblin girl just ain't gonna be any help. Fair enough. He's gonna look to again. We really appreciate Kevin. He is MVP right now. He's going to turn to Kevin and just sort of gesture to the statues. Yeah, can you help us carry them at least with the, I don't know, levitation spell? Um, I, I actually can help, I think. Uh, Hanala pipes up oh all right uh what might you be able to do he Uh, kind of pauses and concentrates for a moment uh give me an arcana check okay 16 all right um Sixteen. Okay. Uh he is casting telekinesis. Oh awesome. He is going to mm-hmm. just take a sigh of relief and uh just say Oh wait, no, he can't say thank you. He's just gonna just not nod politely, just bow his head politely. So, Alright, let's get moving. They got a party to play at. Uh, so the, hang on. Okay. Uh, so th- the hobgoblin, who is the, the biggest and, and toughest of the kids by far, kind of tips one and he kind of drags her along, the smallest of the three sisters. 
Um, Ihanala uses telekinesis to raise another, and then you're able to waddle walk another. So after a couple yeah. hours, it takes a lot longer because two of you are moving really slow, but you do get back to camp, um, having left their backpacks back there at this point. Um, oh, wait, are you serious? They were kind of chopped up. Uh, the What was salvageable was stuffed into the three remaining bags and carried by the okay, three kids okay, that okay. weren't being of any help. Uh, okay, so as good. you get back and prepare to host this party, um, <laughs> Kevin flies off as quickly as he can to go get the uh, the rabbit, the dozen rabbits for the dozen mortals from a portal to another realm, a mortal realm. Uh, we will go on a quick break here. Uh, awesome. We'll be back in about five to ten minutes. Ten minutes, I think it is, for a break. And pick up for part two. The schedule. Yeah. Gotta yes. check the schedule. Stuff. Schedule. It'd be five minutes at this point. Where you least expect the slap. And then all of a sudden, yeah, that tracks. All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, I had to help my pregnant wife out real quick. Never tell your pregnant wife, even in jest, oh, you've been pregnant before. This is easy. This will be easy for you. Um, don't just oh. don't do it. Uh, it won't end well for you. So. Like uh, tell, telling a girl, like, oh, yeah, you've had your monthly. It's not that bad. Like, <laughs> boy, I'm going to smack the shit out of you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Especially when you're married to an Irish Italian woman. You know, good luck. Good luck. Good luck living. Good luck living after you do that. <laughs> it was meant to be a joke, but when she's actively pregnant, not a good idea. So. Oh. Ian seems to have lost, We've lost his... Ian. Yeah, One what happened? second. I'm here. The father muck. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm sort of here. Second. So, where did we leave off? Oh, yeah. Uh, we will tab back as Marcus is preparing for this event to Callie, Sir Wellington, and Abigail. Uh, you guys have finished up your meal. I uh, had that conversation about how things could have been worse in the Feywilds for poor Callie. Um, and have proceeded to march down the stairs to uh, the formerly grisly scene. It still kind of is. The bodies are just kind of been pushed to the sides. Um, but at least the path in the middle is clear. As you guys proceed down the steps, Sir Wellington does not change as he did before. And you get down to that bottom area, and Elfdeen kind of stands there and goes, Well, we are here. Um, Callie, uh, give me another constitution saving throw. Uh, Abigail as well. Well. Twelve? Yeah. You're falling a little bit more in love with this woman. Oh. Oh, that's why. I thought I thought it was for the sight. Revisiting trauma. Oh, good idea. Give me another constitution saving throw, Callie alone. <laughs> <laughs> God. Thank you for allowing me to fuck over my friend here. <laughs> Fifteen. Hmm. The smell is pungent and the sight grotesque, but you do not puke. Kind of cool. You are definitely traumatized, though. As mm. you look at the body, very charred, electrocuted body of the kid who had asked you out recently. Who also gave me drugs, let's be who, 100%. He did who drug was, you as well, yes. Who was trying to roofie her? Come on. <laughs> he, he definitely made a poor attempt to roofie me. He did. We, we, so we let's don't. Get... Y'all very much, I feel like... Okay, anyways. What? <laughs> what now? Nothing. He didn't, like, give it to you as a portion. He gave it, like, he didn't dose you with it. Yeah, no, but let's be 100%. This is only funny because Siren said so. (laughs) (laughs) Siren was like, this is not good. Not okay. Gross. Who is it? Where do I find him? This sounds like this kid literally, like, gave you the dose and like roofied you that's not what happened no we always specify was going to was but did a very poor attempt well, at it maybe... instead of like slipping the slipping a drop into the drink Whoop. just gave the bottle 
Or at least yeah. it was with full consent, you know? He's like, here, if you want to drink this, have at it. <laughs> I, um... Uh, skeptical you, consent. You <laughs> Callie is dumb. Yeah. Callie let's is not dumb. get into the... Here, drink yeah. this, okay? Let's not get into the qualms of consent under love spell. Love <laughs> yeah, right. Let's That's how you get Voldemort. Right. That is how you get Voldemort. Uh, what was Abigail's con save? Fifteen. Fifteen? You're holding strong, but damn, she's pretty. Also, I should it's say, so her pretty. her hands are crossed, so it's kind of acting like a push-up bra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, that can only be done with intent. One does not naturally do that. This is intentional lift. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it, it, it's like it's like the it's like the guys who do this and like push their muscles out to make themselves look bigger. Yeah, you're right. just, like shrugging. They're, they're, they're like walking around like this and like pushing out their muscles. You're like, okay. Listen, I don't the have the biggest you're, sense. You're not sure if she's doing like this on purpose do so. or if she's just like done this so much that this is now her natural stance. <laughs> no, Markham. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Markham, <laughs> listen to the ones you, you have some. Saying this isn't a natural it. thing to do. This all right, in that case, have to be like... <laughs> in that case, I'm going to need a perception check from all three of you if you guys are going to be so adamant on this. We're staring very closely, perception analyzing. Check. Oh, in that case, I'm going to need a perception check with disadvantage from Abigail and Callie. Sir Why? Wellington gets it straight up. This, this if you're in. staring this right at this area right here, you're going to miss <laughs> okay. what's actually going on. This, okay. okay. This, is in. this is now educating Markham stream. That is, this is what this is now. Yeah, Markham? The educating Markham stream. Markham. This is the very anatomy. No. And what not to say to your pregnant wife. With disadvantage? Yep. Okay. 18. That's funny. 18 with disadvantage? Yeah. Same. Yeah, I, I rolled yeah. you too. We're used to we're used to I rolled staring a, without I rolled being... an 18 and a 16 in my Holy cow. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. And Abigail also got an 18. Yeah. Press the lesbian. Okay. We know well, we can stare without of getting you, too distracted. All three of you notice as three? she Well, yes, they're only to roll a perception check too. Okay. As she's standing there and kind of staring at her mind milkers, though. Poofs, poofs up. <laughs> right. That's why you didn't have to roll at disadvantage. Uh, there was no distraction for you. As, as she kind of whoop, gives herself a little push up, she kind of slight side glances at Abigail. And Dolores. Mad at me? What did I do? No, no, no. As in, like, you get you said they do a, this on you do this on purpose. She's she's hitting on you. Yeah, she's oh, no. she she and I'll she, do that. she she does that and she and she kind of glances at Abigail and Dolores to see if they've noticed. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Don't do that to me, Markham. I can't do that. She's she's I trying. Deal she's with trying this. to do seduce what, both Abigail do and Dolores. I, I can't. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Let's switch places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll summon Matt. Perfect. Also, with a four, uh, Dolores is kind of just like, hey, at her. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Dolores. Hip, Real hypnotized fall. by the titties. Listen. <laughs> okay. I don't blame her. Okay, um, what are we doing down here? Do you I feel any I, different? I, do no, I don't. I no, I don't like looking at my dead friends, though. Does it mean anything that you did this? Some of them. I didn't do this. You did. I was a witness. <laughs> what will convince you? Nothing. I witnessed it with my own eyeballs. It's only a matter of time before you come at me again. Unless you can give me a good enough reason of that Listen, Proteus it... is different than you. Elfdeen is going to kind of look down and go, Listen, it, Wellington. What? Do you remember anything? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. From what they're saying, I, I couldn't have even been here. See, no, we freed you from the prison back there. Remember that? 
No. You don't remember being in prison? No. Come on, we're gonna we're gonna go retrace our steps. I'm gonna drag him back to the prison. As he's following behind, he looks up at Alfie and goes, "What should I do?" And he's kind of like twiddling his fingers and like, like not like, like a little kid would do, like. Mm. Big sister's not listening, and she's gonna tattle to daddy. <laughs> she's also a little sister, so she's like the queen of snitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. If. If I if I explain, will you? If things don't go well, will you protect me? Help protect me. He's at. He's asking. Uh, what's her? What's Alfie? her name? Yeah, Alfteen. Oh. oh. He's talking to Alfteen about this. Like he's I walking with they're walking Marcus with Marcus. No. Marcus, no. I thought you were asking Callie. I Marcus. had chocolate in my mouth. No. Chocolate's more important than you guys. I'm so sorry. I said wow. That. Wow. wow. <laughs> no, he 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 say he's asking Alfteen what he should do. And he says being sassy right now, I don't like it. <laughs> if I he's, and he said, I'm if sorry. I explain and things don't go it. well, will you protect will you help protect me? Will you help protect me? She's gonna she's gonna look down and go. You know I always will. Okay. And uh let's tab over real quick to Marcus on that cliffhanger. Oh uh, boy. Marcus, give me a perception check real quick. So many perception checks. Okay. I know, I'm making you roll a lot. Okay, not bad. Uh unnatural twenty. Okay. Uh, it's been about seven or so hours. Feeling good. Yeah. Oviren shows up. You look at the sky, and it's night. It's been seven hours. You're very certain of this. You've been keeping track. Why is it nighttime now? You should have another four hours before sunset, at least. And then another three hours after that before he shows up. Oh. it says... Ah, you're you're a little early. We're not entirely not done early yet, at all. But right on time, in fact. What the? What is this? When Marcus realizes he meant fake time. At this point, I would say, uh, give me an intelligence roll with advantage. How smart is Marcus? Let's find that out. That is that is a nineteen. <laughs> Smart enough, it seems. All right. Uh, with a nineteen. <clears throat> yeah, that that plus one. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he meant Fay time, not your time. And he clearly manipulated Fay time to go at double speed. He's just gonna. Oh wait, no, he can probably read minds. <laughs> He's just going to look at the time, realize that, and go. Ah, uh, right. Has Kevin come back yet? No. Okay. You do have enough people to draw from if you want to ask for twelve volunteers. Wait, would would Kevin have any indication of like whether it's Fey time or normal time? I just thought of that. Um, since he's actually a Fey, Kevin was able to guess that he might have meant Fey time, but Oviren is very hard to read, so he had yeah. no has no way of knowing how long. He only knows how long it takes him to get there and get back. 
And as this okay. is your this is your Hail Mary, he needs to get there and get back. So he's just getting there and getting back as fast as possible. Uh, and it's been seven hours and he's not back yet. No, it has not been seven hours since he left. Because he didn't leave until you guys were back at camp. As he was assisting, uh, using a little bit of magic to kind of juice up the, the Hobgoblin kid. Right, and that so, took about... three hours. Uh, and four hours... So it's been uh, it's been four hours, and he said it's a couple it's a few hours away. Okay, so he should be back soon. Soon, but you're out of time to delay the party. You can try. All right. Uh, how is welcome uh, people to D and D chess? All right. How is uh? I always forget the Faye with the H name. Hanala. Ihanala. 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 How is Ihanala doing with the cookies? Oh, he's got plenty of cookies. He has baked an insane amount of cookies. Okay. Uh... In fact, he's baked so many that he's allowed people to have been snacking on them while waiting. <laughs> Including Dahlia. Okay. <laughs> Just chucking cookies at people. Just chucking cookies. Okay. Uh, Zoom. I'm trying to think. What other things? Because do does Kevin have minutes or seconds before he comes back? More like uh, about forty minutes. Shit. Okay. Yeah. You'd presume anyhow. So if it's two and a half hours each way, and it's been four hours, then he's got between 30 minutes and an hour left, or even if it was two hours each way and it's been four hours and then he'd have, you know, maybe between 10 and 40 minutes, but you don't know how long it's taking him to round up the rabbits in the other world. Okay. I'm just trying to think what does he have that can possibly, maybe not because he's going to be bound anyway to start the party, but is there anything because he didn't, he said, bring mortals to the party. Mm -hmm. He said, bring a dozen mortals. A dozen mortals. But, but he didn't say at the start of the party or at the middle of the party, just bring them to the party. Right? He did not specify no. Selkie, would that affect anything? Specifications, everything. It's wish rules. Uh -huh. So he did not specify that they he have did to be. Did not specify uh, they have to be at the beginning. That is true. Okay, that's one thing. Uh crap, Cookie. Okay, yeah, Cookie's already done. But did did he spe Did you guys specify how long the party lasts for? No. Nope. Nope. So this is the the, the ball's in your court now. It can be a like a several day party oh, where you just yeah. keep pumping stuff out and you get Most the thing. Of... Most day parties do last a few days. Mm -hmm. So yeah. He's safe with that. Uh, okay, he's got that. He's oh, also just because he does he because I love Marcus and his dad traits. He as he arrives, he quickly shoots off a few a uh, light spell at like an overhanging branch All and right. makes a uh makes a makeshift disco ball. <laughs> I like it. Because remember, he's got that multi-setting light, like a pure yep. dad. I like and it. Goes, and he is going to be like, hold on. Just how, can I roll to see like how charming of a host he is? Give me a charisma like check. That? Oh, thank you dice so much. Uh, 18. <laughs> Your dice have been loving you he's this pretty, session. I he's know. Pretty, uh, yeah, you need it. He's been he's he's pretty charming. He's he's got a good charm to him. Even Dolly he, is impressed. I imagine. He, Although isn't he Dolly did, impressed by everything right now? I was Dolly about to is say. impressed by everything all the time. Yeah. He does. did a lot of cookouts at the temple, so he he's he's in his element right now. So. And as soon as he shoots it off, he's gonna go ah. All right, yeah, you're right. We got the cookies going. Uh, the mortals are coming soon. We just got to wait a little bit for them. 
But other than that, we got plenty of cookies. Um, uh, keep going. Sorry, keep going. Question, is there any sort of music happening? Everyone make they... with everyone makes wisdom saves. It's their all fame music. Uh, everyone make a save. No, no fame music. Like specifically, people from have the have party. Parts? Have you in instructed? Have you asked your allies if they will uh, do music for the party? Oh, hundred percent. He'd be like, who knows how to do music? Um, Abigail, can you roll a performance check for Dahlia to see if oh. she has any? Abigail, music? sorry. Naz. Naz, can you roll? <laughs> Abigail's gonna roll for Dahlia. <laughs> Naz, can you roll a performance check for Dahlia just to see if she has any retained musical skill? Sure, why not? What's your performance modifier? Okay. Anyway, we can even do a past life. Okay, that's a ten, but we'll add the past life thing. Maybe she was a performer in a past life. Who knows? Or at least she's an of amalgamation of different people. <laughs> yes. Knowledge from a past life, a D6. Okay. Let me add a D6. Ooh. Okay. That past life did not perform. That's a one on the D6. So let's say 11. She is actually decent. Like, not terrible, but it's over a 10. So It's like a little tambourine she, she's or a triangle an, she's an or something. Average, <laughs> she's an average performer. Yeah, it's like it's like a tambourine or like a jaw harp or something. It's okay. not like anything that takes too hurt. much skill to pl play. What? A jaw harp? Yeah. You pluck that thing wrong, you're losing a tooth. I know. That's true. <laughs> I God, used to play those one. Are the worst. Those things are the worst. We used to play okay. one. Okay. Uh, here's, uh, here, here's for how Florabamian I grew up. I used to play a harmonica and a jaw harp. Ah. Gross. And a violin, but I played it Phil style. Okay, so, I was the bougie kid who played the viola, so. Ooh, I always I'm the kid that didn't players. learn an instrument. <laughs> I, played, I played viola. I learned viola, piano, and ocarina within six months of each other. Ooh, the ocarina of time. That's a good one, too. I do have I do have an ocarina of time somewhere. Nice. Uh, okay. And I learned how okay. to play Lugia song during quarantine. So Abigail, oh, if awesome. Dahlia would like to volunteer to help out with this um, party, she can. She can either uh, help with the music, or she can help with food service, or something else. Uh, or she can opt to stay over is... at Kevin's house and not help. No, out. no, she'll she'll help. But I'm trying to think what her talents would be best suited for, because I feel like. She's a druid. I feel like probably she'd be better at cooking. Okay. She'd See that? Great lighting. Oh, yeah. That or know. decorations. Oh, no. Cooking and decorations. I could actually say just make yeah, bunch of cool like vines everywhere. Grow a bunch of cool vines and then chop off the herbs and start cooking. Right. Perfect. Multitask. Multitask. Or... Decor uh, and cooking all at the same time. Okay. Are there I don't understand any why people other... hate druids. Druids are awesome. Uh, are there any other people that can uh, play music? That's the bar. Yeah, or... yeah, there are a couple others. There are about four others. So there are about four people in total that are playing music. Um, okay, cool. They're being recruited. All right. So you have four musicians. You have... Uh... Cookies. Yep, you have cookies. Uh, three of the four kids offer to help out with food serving. You need fairy cakes. Okay, oh. Yeah. He will tell the kids to hide the jar phase, the phase in jars. Right. Hide them. Yeah, no. Hide the them the so goblin good. girl is the one that goes and hides, and she's not coming to help. She's keeping hide your an kids, eye on hide your wives, and hide your goblins right. safe tonight. Exactly. Hide your goblins. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got music, we got food, we got awesome lighting, awesome decorations. Thank you, Dahlia. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can do to at least keep over on entertained for now um you better keep it entertained or else this whole party is gonna be over run what <laughs> wait what mm -mm, don't repeat it <laughs> could i get in <laughs> you're so proud of yourself <laughs> uh sorry markham what Oh man, that was funny though. Can I get I a wisdom it. saving throw from Marcus? Oh 
boy. Okay, here we go. Okay, Marcus that's good. takes Marcus takes psychic damage from Ian's jokes. <laughs> right. I could see that actually. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Uh, that's a twenty-four. Okay, he resists. He feels something trying to pry into his mind and figure out what he's thinking about, and he kind of shoves it away. Oh, he's good. Oh, Marcus can think of some dark shit. <laughs> or not dark shit, but he's going to think of weird shit. <laughs> okay. Marcus. That one Throw time off he off was in the bathroom and it was in the Throw shape of the a snake. The other time it was in the shape of a snail. <laughs> Uh, Throw them off the rhythm. He, oh. He's blocked by shit. Like, he looks into... <clears throat> no, this is actually going to be... Not that, but this is going to be... He tries to look into his mind. All over on seas are just memories of him uh, being at the temple and, like, a kid somehow has, like, snapped in half a marble statue. He... And he doesn't even know how that happened. He just sees like a whole bunch of random. <laughs> he just sees a whole bunch of random moments of him like teaching and uh, basically just disciplining kids. Oh, not disciplining. That sounds too mean. Giving a talking to the kids. That's disciplining. Disciplining right. can be very gentle. <laughs> just means gentle like... discipline. He is gentle disciplining. Right. As soon as, as soon as, Ovir, yeah. So as soon as Ovirin shows up, uh, Ehanala disappears. Um, he does cast some kind of illusory magic to kind of, you know, make the atmosphere more fun and festive and stuff like that. Um, but as soon as Ovirin shows up, whoop, he's back in the bushes. Sure, yeah. Um, you have Sorsha helping you. You have three of the four <laughs> non-golden kids running away. You. He's. He, he knows it's on site with him and Oviran. Oviran hates him. Um, gotcha. Well. Uh, but he is... But by the fact that the illusory spells are still up and running, he's nearby. He's nearby. You know that much. He is nearby. He yep. is hiding, though. He's just staying out of Oviran's sight because you don't want to piss off a fae. All right. Nope. Well, especially I'm... an arch fae. Um, out of sight, out of mind. Right? I know yeah. we're doing a a lot of kind of retro I'm just like trying to think of what else well what else do you need have. so you have you have the three food. kids helping with serving food um yeah. you have Dahlia baking the food two others will help you uh, help with making food as well Sorsha will help you with just kind of overall whatever you need and then you yeah. have the four musicians Thank um, you, Dragon Mommy. Anyway, all right do you need anything else you need for immediate um, help with the party Let's see, we got lights, we got food, we got music, we got entertainment, we got decorations. Uh, no, all we need to do is literally just wait for uh, Kevin to bring the mortals. All right. So, so are you, are the, um, are the other 20 or so survivors with you guys at the party, or are you having them stay over at Kevin's house? No, they are staying over at Kevin's okay. house. Okay, okay, so just they the ones that are staying over at you. Kevin's house. All right, yes. all right. So as you greet him, and, like, it's a very festive-looking party, and, and Oviran kind of looks around and kind of nods, and you feel him try and probe into your mind, and you think about the weird thoughts, and you notice him kind of recoil. He's like, so, what the fuck? Right? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Gentle discipline. Okay. No, you have to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? Okay. Why? Um, uh, love and compassion. Why? Did why you... would two okay, girls do a... that with that one cup? Gosh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't even know. You're not that... reawakened high school trauma, Ian. Uh, <laughs> did, 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 did Marcus take his you're advice? You're some weird shit. Right. Did Marcus take his advice and have the three golden kids help out with the party via de decor? And, I mean, why I mean, not? Yeah, he. It'd be <laughs> kind of more of a A, he's going to fix them later, and B, he is definitely trying to keep everyone alive. That includes, if he can keep everyone alive, he can help the kids. So he would definitely try to appease this literal freaking fey god as much as possible. Right. Without endangering people as right. much as you right. can give me a uh give me a perception check okay okay not bad 
26. Okay. Um, so he takes some time, him and his minions kind of enjoy the feast for a little bit. Um, you're kind of mentally keeping track. About half an hour goes by. Kevin has not yet shown up. Um, he's got to be here soon. Okay. Um, do you want to, what do you, what do you want to do? Oviran is sitting and Um, communing with his, his officers, his staff. Hold on. I, I have never had spells before, so I'm like trying to see if I can do anything interesting with them. Okay. Uh, he doesn't, no, he doesn't have, uh, hmm. remember the many uses of thaumaturgy. Does he have thaumaturgy? You should, you're a cleric. Oh, holy shit, he does. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me look at this, because I actually don't know what thaumaturgy entails, so. I just know it can make your voice big. Get a really loud voice. Or okay. prestidigitation, which is how you properly pronounce that word. Uh, ooh. Okay. Um. Hey. Okay, is there hey, a... Hey. Okay, this is going to sound weird, Marco. Hey, vacation. Right. Baby, baby, baby. But... <laughs> okay. I love you now. In, I love in, you your, mm-hmm. in your world, cantrips. I can say I can't spell it. Actions or bonus actions, or uh, depending on the cantrip, I allow them to be bonus actions because it okay. feels like a lot for something that does so little to be a full action. Okay, so theoretically, could Marcus safely cast Sacred Flame on something somewhere, more accurately? And then use thaumaturgy to change the colors of it as it rains down. Sort of like makeshift fireworks. You can just do that with thaumaturgy. Yeah, I'll allow that. You I can. mean, yeah, you could just do that with thaumaturgy, though. Well, no, you don't need wait. sacred flame to that. No. Well, wait, hold on. Unless no, you're it... actively trying to attack someone. Uh, Wait, it says you cause flames... Oh, it says you cause flames to flicker... Brighten, dim, or change color for one minute. So it doesn't look like. No, it doesn't look like you can create. Oh, can Sorsha create flame? I, or yeah. you can just do a minor oh. sensory effect. Yeah, you can. If it's not meant to do any harm, then it's. Well, no, but like. Am I like thinking sense... of. There are torches here, so there's already flames. Okay, cool. All right. Education. I can't spell it, but I can say it. You know those um like those almost like those tiki torches that you have at, at c- cookout parties. Oh, I am thinking of prestidigitation. So if you have prestidigitation, you can do that. Yeah, I do not have prestidigitation. Yeah. I have light, well, sacred damn. flame, uh, spare the dying, word of radiance, and thaumaturgy. Oh, you couldn't you couldn't learn prestidigitation if you wanted. It's only a bard, sorcerer, a warlock, and wizard thing. Yeah. So. Rude. Rude. Uh, so he'll. Mm kind of watch over he'll realize that uh i forgot his name kevin uh is not back yet but i assume sorsha is kind of close to him yeah she's right next to him so he'll just kind of lean and go uh dragon mom i think i need i'm gonna need your help with something to give us a little bit more time for kevin uh i forget can you create flame um, I I couldn't control the... I don't, what was the accent I had for her? Ah, oh, that was it, wasn't it? I think it was kind of an Irish accent. Yeah. I can I can control the flames if you want me to. You can't create, create them by chance? Oh, wait. Can you make arches of the flames? You know, like, like a hallway or something. Taking a little light show to give Kevin a little more time. You do the flames, I change them all and make them all pretty colors. I can 
All right, I can try. That sounds good. All right. Uh. Crap, I don't. I haven't ever hosted a party, so I don't know how this goes. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to, like, actually do it without having any experience. He'll go, All right, just follow my lead. And gonna do performance, even though he's definitely not proficient in that. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not as good. That's a 14. All right. Um, so this is to try and like the performance level to act as a distraction. Yeah, pretty much. 14. All right, one second. Um, it's kind of okay. Um, o Oviran doesn't seem particularly impressed. I will be one second. You guys can chat. Okay. Hmm. I can't believe I'm doing a freaking party. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't. I just never thought one of my characters would have to hold a party like this. So, just <laughs> party time. Uh, Odie getting into mischief again. She took off her headset. She can't hear me. To be fair, Marcus does not want to get into mischief. He he hates mischief at this point. Well, what in failure? Yeah, fair enough. I would talk to one of you guys, but there's no players near me. I, I still don't know. Like I, I mean, I know how. I just am so surprised that Marcus is now all okay. Woo. Okay, let me freaking. She's okay. Okay. Right. Cool. Yeah, she's okay. Hello, caffeinated top hat. What's up? Welcome. All right. I love so... Markham's YouTuber voice. I have a YouTuber <laughs> voice. You do. <laughs> no, when, whenever you try to be a YouTuber. I don't ever try to be a you. I did try and be a YouTuber once. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. Oviren doesn't look particularly impressed. Okay. Shit. Uh, Step your game up. Oh. Wait. Since. Hold on. Since this Sorsha is helping, would that technically be with advantage or no? Eh, no. I'll say, you know what, why not? I'll let you roll again. Okay. Ah! Don't fall. 16. <laughs> All right. No. Like, there's one blast, so you kind of like, oh, okay. All right. Uh, You know, he's not a bard. He does not perform. Uh... Uh, I assume they're still together. He's like, oh, shit. Uh, hold on, let me see what Dumb Trigger does. I'll take the appearance of the eyes. All right. Um, hmm. I mean, you can't cause tremors. That'd be bad. Uh, right. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think. Uh, can't do much with flight. Can't do. Crap, I don't really have much to distract. I guess uh, can Marcus look for another way to maybe distract or keep Oberon in her... Ovarian? Oberon? I can't... Yeah. Oberon entertained? Ovaries overrun? 
right? Um, you could try engaging in conversation with him. He's starting to talk with his officers, kind of in hushed tones. You can't tell what they're saying from your distance. Because okay. I imagine he's kind of keeping his distance. Yeah. And then there's always the risk of him trying to probe my mind again. Uh, no oh. Okay. Um Yeah, let's go let's go make conversation with the Fae God. That's that's always a good idea. Oh, I'm okay. so glad I came back for this part. Right? <laughs> so cookie okay, so let me just remember the food we cooked. We're gonna get the food. We were cooking food. We were cooking cookies. Uh, ooh, big pork. cookies. Yeah, big fake cookies, pork, like salty, good stuff. You can go up and go. And yeah, ah, I cannot do this today. I don't know what's up with my mind. Uh, he's Marcus will go up and go. So how's everything so far? Food tasting good. Everything all right? I know it. I kind of maybe have over salty pork a little bit, but I wanted to make sure there was enough taste. And yeah. It's it's decent. I have had better and I have had worse. This is actually a fairly decent party. And he flashes a uncomfortably handsome winning grin at him. You know, like when politicians smile, it's like yeah, your teeth are too perfect. Yeah, just like <laughs> that the, smile oh, no. looks rehearsed. It's so good. It is a rehearsed smile. You go, yeah. all right, that's fair enough. I imagine a fae god does go to a lot of parties. To be fair, I haven't been. I mean, unless you count a good cookout at the at the temple as one, because then I've been to plenty. <laughs> Trying to impress the Queen of England with your backyard barbecues. Exactly. <laughs> that is what is happening. <clears throat> um... Hmm. He's going to kind of lean back and cross his arms and say, So, are you ready to really get this party underway? He's going to just kind of look at just a feeling in his heart like, Oh no, this is not going to go well. You go, uh, And what sense do you mean by that? That's well, good English. You have amazing food here. I very much enjoyed that. You have a fantastic light display. I've seen better, but it's not terrible. And he'll he'll wink. That wonderful politician wink. Marcus is just internally cringes. Just externally do it. Don't be a wuss. No, he is trying to not be rude. And then... Uh, the decor is fairly nice. Granted, I provided some of it myself. That in fi the the more finely tasted stuff. Uh, you mortals bees. are. Bees. You, you, <laughs> did you say bees? I said jeez. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mar Marcus is going to have to roll wisdom saving throw for the amount of fucking dick Don't sucking cringe. he is doing to himself. All right, all right, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> he, is so, he is self congratulatory self, asshole. He is, he is a self fellatio dick. He is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. Thankfully, I have saved her. That's an 18 for the saving you throw. You do like, not slug face. him in the beautiful face. <laughs> that perfectly chiseled it, fucking. If. If. 
oh gosh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Henry Haslam? Cavill level chiseled. Chi- oh line. no, he is a good boy. <laughs> Yeah, no, I know. Don't ruin Henry Cavill. Tom Cruise, then. Okay, it's handsome that's Squidward. Acceptable. It's handsome Squidward. It's handsome Squidward. It's handsome Squidward. Yes. It's handsome Squidward. It's handsome Squidward. Very handsome. I don't know. Joe Biden. Someone very handsome. <laughs> Joe Biden. A lot okay, of people I... simp over him. Uh, uh, they have terrible taste. Like those, not even those do, people simping not over even, him are probably in their sixties. No, I know yeah, like, a lot of people even, in their twenties that simp over him in thirties and forties. Uh, um, okay, not even getting into bo- that. No, just no. He's a okay. wrinkled old guy. No. Um, how many people? No, you you were, you were a very religious. Everyone that you surround yourself with has daddy issues. That makes sense. <laughs> You're not wrong. Holy shit, that's true. Um, anyway. <laughs> He has a chin uh, as chiseled as Naz. Or a jawline as chiseled. Naz, you have a chiseled wow. jawline. Uh, stop no, no. while you're ahead, Markham. Okay. Yeah, I'm so stop. glad you're married and you don't have to flirt anymore. <laughs> yeah. Markham, I couldn't just get flirt on with... even when Kayla and I were dating. I'm horrible at it. You're, you're, I'm so <laughs> it's glad obvious. you found Kayla. I'm so glad you found Kayla. Or yeah. Kayla found you. I lucked out. Like Kayla one. found me. Kayla this found me. One. was a mess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right. Let's, yeah, no. So he's able to resist, like, yeah, he resists punching this smug asshole in the face. Basically, every time he compliments something about your party, he compliments himself about something he does better in the same field. Oh, I... My, okay, Marcus can come. I would have fucking decked him already. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, continue. And, most importantly, you brought the 12 mortals you promised. I'd say your end of the bargain has been quite fulfilled. Wait. 12? No, it was 20. He's gonna just kind of raise an eyebrow and go, uh, isn't it 20 mortals? Roll a deception check. <laughs> Wait, re- no, really? It was a dozen no, it mortals. Was 20. No, it oh, was 20. Uh, it was 20? It was 20. It was 20. It was, yeah, 20. 20. It was uh, 20. I thought we had established it was a dozen. No, it was 20. That's why he kept the other 20 people that weren't uh, helping with the party the fuck out of there. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, he goes, the only thing is you are still five mortals short. Ah. Uh, Yes, we do have that, but trust me. I did promise that I would get 20 mortals to the party. There will be 20 mortals, and they will be the best damn mortals on this planet. Well, wait, on this planet. On my plane. I forgot. I'm not technically on my plane. But yes, the best mortals will be appearing very, very soon. Indeed. In his mind, hopefully. Right. Indeed. Hey, you just fucked up. I hope for your sake you're right. But that doesn't mean we can't begin the fun early, and I will wrap up when the remaining mortals arrive. Uh, again, what kind of fun were you thinking about? Because I, I don't have limbo over here, but I, if I find a stick, right? Three well, sticks, I can make it. You currently have offered 15 of the 20 needed souls. He's going to like kind of look at... Uh, but these are the helpers to the party, not the mortals I am going to grab for you. These are the helpers of the party. Well, so therefore, if you wish to that. give more, I am not opposed. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. dawn seems to be approaching. And I do have work hey. to do. Hey, Mother. Fate parties last multiple days. You're fine. Would Marcus never remember specified. that detail? It's never specified. The... It was never specified. Um... No, wait. Marcus is in charge of the party, so he would determine when the party ends. Yeah. Right? Give me an intelligence That's... check to um, see through his uh, manipulation attempts. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That is a 19. <laughs> A 19. All yes. Right. Very good. Um, if yeah, he chooses to leave the party early, he's being rude. You can get him. That is he true. Is, he is trying to manipulate you into ending the party earlier than you need to. <laughs> he's going to like notice this. Look over Don's and go, really? Only till done? Nuh-uh. 
my parties, they last for days. And that is what I intend. Days? Yeah. Like well, weeks of days or a week of days? Uh, days. Days. Human <laughs> days. <laughs> I mean, I, I do know fair time and mortal time are different, so I guess we are talking about <laughs> mortal time. But, yeah. Ooh, roll a perception check. Motherfucker! <laughs> you just you just see the thing going... <laughs> Alright, it's been a few days. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, that is a... Hold on. That is a 25. 25. Uh, A. Ovirin is pissed. B. It's being day night, 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 and he's not even being <laughs> subtle at this point. <laughs> he's just staring at you with utter fury. He, Marcus, is just staring because he said days. <laughs> he didn't specify how many, mm -hmm. so he is. That's just, why he's furious. He is just staring at him with like the polite, like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give back some of his motherfucking energy. He is going to have the sweetest, most customer service smile <laughs> on his face as it just randomly starts blinking day, night, day, night. And he's just going to be smiling. He is going to be waiting for the manager. And this <laughs> fucking Karen is going no, to sir, fucking I wait. I can't change the prices. The sale ended yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, you two stand off for what seems like an eternity until you hear... A uh, rather nervous voice from the other, kind of coming from the vo woods. Uh, oh, the party's already begun. Uh, I brought the mortals. Oh, look at that. We got the mortals. All right. Can you bring them in, please? Uh, Kevin immediately He's gonna say ushers. He's still staring at him. Kevin Just... immediately <laughs> ushers in 20 rabbits. Excellent. See, Excellence. I did promise the best mortals, my dear Fae God. And let me tell you, bunnies are some of the best damn things on the planet. So fluffy, so cuddly, and so heartwarming. And you give them a month and they there's twice as many of them. <laughs> Sweet that you think they only need they need a month for that. Right. All right. I mean, I don't know the actual pregnancy period of a rabbit but anyway um, you know, I, think it's so, I think it's not long like two not long. weeks three weeks two something weeks? like that yeah Shit. i know it's in weeks it's crazy give me one more but, perception check oh they what this one wants me to see that is another fucking nat 20 <laughs> um over and smirks again As uh, the as soon as the first five rabbits cross the line, he goes, "Well, it looks like I have twenty, and you can keep your spare 15. It's not what we. Uh... Wait, can he work his? Okay, I have to lawyer, and I <laughs> do not know how to lawyer. And he. Oh wait, no, they had to bring him to the party. Mm-hmm. Bring him to the party. He go. He goes. Mm, no, I only see. I only brought five right now. They. I didn't bring. We didn't bring them. And he's gonna point to the fifteen mortals here. They set it up. We still have the other fifteen, and he's gonna point to the fifteen other rabbits mortals to bring here. Roll a deception check. That is not this. That is because logic. you asked for volunteers. Volunteers to help. Not we were already there. Right, but technically, he could <sighs> see it as by asking them to help. You asked them to come to the party. Eh, all right, all right. This guy is a politician as as bad as Palpatine. He'll see any nook and cranny he can get in. Uh, okay. Uh, boy. 
Okay. Uh, if only I... Why did I have to pay, make such a good play? I'm so worried. Okay. Uh, you got this. That's a, seven, that's a 17. 17. All right. Hang on. Uh, Let's see low. if he buys roll it. Low. Roll low. Please roll low. Please roll low. That's a 16. Please. Oh! 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 He will stare you down. And wait for the rest of the rabbits to get in. And with a snap of his fingers, they will each shriek and collapse to the ground as their souls leave their body, and he catches them. Woo! Very oh well. Oh my gosh. You are released from your end of the deal. I hope you enjoyed the party. I did. I think I'll take some souvenirs. Can I get a... Uh, let's do a con save. Okay. Marcus is... Hold on, I have to double check what things clerics get. Oh no, that's still a two. Uh, I will give it to you with advantage because you just outwitted this guy. Ooh, okay, that is that is a lot better. That is a twenty-one. Nice. Okay, um, you kind of tense up and shrug it off as a blast of magic goes out from him. Okay. Uh, da da da. <clears throat> Let's see. I need to roll for him. Wait, for. Oh, Viren. Why? You're about to find out. Oh, boy. As soon as he sees you're unaffected, he draws his blade and goes to lunge at you and just locks in place. Uh, uh, he, he has his shield up like the moment he has the blade rose and he's just looking over like wait why he's, is he he's struggling to move against him don't be rude but some magical force is holding him there don't be and you rude. give me a perception check he was rude at a party party's he over to... yeah he... party's no. over no 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 he hasn't <laughs> Said that the party's over yet. He did. Has he? Or did I? He said you fulfilled your end of the agreement and all yeah, that, which was I've... to throw a party and to bring it. Yeah, but I specifically didn't say the party's over. Ah, very good. Uh, give me, give me an intelligence check on that. Okay, that's a, a twenty-eight for the perception check. Twenty-eight for the perception check. Okay, um, you see Ihanala peeking out from the bushes and like grogu has a hand out and has clearly cast hold monster on oviran okay uh that is also a uh that's 14 all right next to you you hear a squeal of terror um uh da -da -da -da. as soon as that happens his guards kind of fly into fly into motion okay. and move into attack formation uh, insisting that you attack to your guest which obviously is not true but this is fame magic he sh they should they should be okay Selkie should what? they like they attacked the host of a party they were rude what happens can they can Marcus do anything uh yeah, Mark uh Marcus has a uh a favor, I think. Is it a favor? Okay. He, if, if did I write it? Did I give it in the rules? Yeah, because if did I fae, it in the rules? Because this is a fey god. Aha! Uh -huh. They're 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 bound to it. They're bound so they're to the rules. 
So, okay. Markham. Yeah? Since these guards are under... It would not apply to them, no. The deal was between you and Oviren. Oh, do not ever be rude to a fae. Rudeness is heavily punishable by death or transformation. So, but... Wait, don't ever be what? Don't ever be rude to the fae. Marcus rudeness is, is heavily rudeness is punishable by death or transformation. But can he do something though? Since technically it's not the end of the party. The the know. rule the rules are reversible. So you I so I guess that would mean you get to punish the fae. <laughs> okay. So And you are within your rights to do so. So it's not considered like an attack or like treasonous you are upholding fey law okay 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 so marcus with the thing so knows it's, would you if you were able to kill him no one could get mad at you right <laughs> but uh he because there's a thing though that uh, i don't know anyway he's going to Okay, but Marcus realizes that, of course, they were rude. They broke apart, Are so you... now... Hmm? Oh, go ahead. Now, does it pertain to the thing? Cause well, I can... I'm trying to see, because Fey are traditionally rude to humans. No, they're tricksters. Rudeness is, is based on, like, lying, breaking promises... Okay. Um, generally yeah. attempting to offend them. I mean, they did try to kill me during the party. That's pretty offensive. Hmm. That's an extremely rude guest. I will give him a. I will give him a save for it. So Does I guess. I guess. A th- I guess. A th- I guess the thing is, uh, will Faye favor like when it comes down to the court of law in a face setting will they favor a king a king's opinion on something if it's down to subjective matter or not because uh, fey law, law binds all five all fey it's nothing matter of rank yeah i know i understand that but with with i guess it's that thing of Oviran saying hey You've fulfilled your end of the thing. Where yeah. this this part, like in his mind, like he's like the party's done. Even though Marcus didn't say that, you know. But Marcus is the as, host of the party. Therefore, yeah, as the one who Marcus as the gets host to of say the when the party ends. He did yeah. not say that. And Overon attacked him during a party, which is extremely rude. However, saying "I hope you enjoyed your party" could be implication. He did. Of it having that's been what ended. I thought was going on. <laughs> See, so I we think could, it will, we could we no, could play I rules of, of, of implication all day long, but they are bound by wish rules where specification is everything. Yeah. And he on he could just be saying, it, "Oh, I hope." It could also be translated like, "I hope you had a good time. Are yeah. you having a good time?" Which is simple host behavior it's actually polite host is actually very polite (laughs) yeah but wouldn't you say are enjoying if it's still ongoing enjoyed implies that it's in the past well because you can still have a party go on when after all the main events happen so all the main events of the party could be the guests the food and everything but the party's now winding down it's not over but it's winding down it's like hey did you enjoy the big parts of the party as in, like, did you enjoy the main events? And are you having a good cool down? You're gonna go to. You're gonna party? take uh, Oviran up in court. You're gonna. I, I was will. gonna say you're gonna take it up in Fey court because this is gonna be interesting. I will fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, after that, what can Marcus do? Anything besides just get everyone the hell out of there? Your call. Well, he... What do you want to do? Well, you want to try he... and take it up in court with this guy, or do you want to book it out of there while he's temporarily frozen? Uh, <laughs> do you want to go court or run? I mean, to be fair, 
real life me would just want to run. Anyway, uh, so Kevin knows where a portal is that's close, right? It's two hours away, but yeah. And it's something. Okay. Uh, hmm, he can't necessarily have anything that dissuades the Fae from... <laughs> and he can't, he can't use any sort of loophole to keep the Fey guards from falling. Because that's the thing. If he doesn't have some sort of loophole where he can make the Fey guards not attack the group, they are going to be booking it. They are going to be mm -hmm. running. Uh, the Fey guards are technically reacting because as soon as Oviren casts the initial spell, a uh, few of your party attacked the nearest Fey in what they believe to be self-defense. I rolled a two on their constitution to stay calm. Wouldn't that be... Was... Okay. <laughs> well, if it was a wisdom, it would have been a... Uh, uh, it would have been a uh, plus one instead of a plus two, so it would have been a three instead of a four. Okay. They're kind of generic civilian level guys. They're sturdier than they are wise. But he used magic, though, to get them to attack, so... He did. Is... So, he's still being fucking rude. So, no, he should have, like, one favor. Or, I don't know. Honestly, he don't fucking know at this point. Uh, he's gonna kind of look... He's gonna look to Kevin and be like, uh... Like... Like, I assume Kevin saw everything and saw what Oberon did. Yeah. He's a witness, so does that, like, uh, I hate law so much. This is why I'm not a, <laughs> yeah, me too. This is, this is why I'm not a lawyer. Welcome to my daily life. I'm just fighting this <sighs> shit. Is it like an Old Testament scene where two witnesses speak the truth? Because I got two witnesses that say that there's that. But, damn it. Uh, uh, he's going to look at Kevin and go, uh, can I do, can I say anything to get him to stop? I, I mean, you probably could. He was rude at your party, but I mean, I'm not entirely sure. Archfey are a little bit of a different breed. Uh, you could probably bind him for a little while. All right. I would be conscious, uh, though. Okay. But he does owe me a favor. Since he was I rude. would be very wary when asking for a favor from Oviran. But yes, technically. Technically? Uh, Alright. Uh, okay, I have to do wish specifics. Sp wish. Wish, wish, wish. Fuck, why do I have to do wish specific shit? Uh, hmm. Wish specifics. I want you and your court to leave me and those I came into the Feywild with alone. I guess, could that still be twisted? I mean, he's then having to, if anything, he's having to deal with people outside his court. That's, true. That's the only thing. I mean, it, I mean, you could specify, I want you and anyone you, in, you interact with from here on out to leave me and those who enter the Feywild alone. No, don't do that, because then he could just talk to your loved ones once, and then they can never speak to you again. <laughs> I have this opportunity. So yeah, court would probably be the best decision. Yeah. Okay, I just have to protect... 
them and their family games. Uh, well, let me think really quick. So, so all this is happening while he's actively getting chances to break free. I should mention. <laughs> shit. Okay. So, okay. Let me just think really quick of what Marcus will say because he knows he has to be specific. Okay. So, if. If he's aware of its hold monster as well, that is a one minute spell. Like that's how long it lasts. So you've yeah. got to be quick. Yeah, you, you know, so, don't have much long longer. You know, so is. he raises shield, immediately <laughs> like figures out, okay, he was rude. Party, do me a favor, talks to them, and he will say, okay, I have to be. This has to be good. Okay. He will. Okay, I want because you were rude at my party. You and those who serve under you will not touch, harm, or do or interact with those under my leadership or any of their loved ones or loved ones, friends, and acquaintances. Like, the Fae can't interact with them. I mean, I think that sounds good, right? Yeah, that sounds good. So, as as he will say, okay, uh, hold on, let me see if I can remember exactly the wording. He will say, well, because you were rude, you and those under you will not touch, will not harm, will not even interact with those that are under my leadership. Nor will you interact, harm, or touch any friends, family members, or acquaintances of them as well. You will leave us alone and you will let us leave. I can't say peacefully because then he would he will let us leave. That is what he will say. All right. Uh, with that, he did roll high enough to break free of it early. And we'll stop with the blade about inches from your nose. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. And how is anyone? How are the others? How are the others right now? The others around you? Yeah. Give me a perception check. Ooh, yay. That is a 27. 27. All right. As you lower your shield and kind of look around, get your bearings. Um, Sorsha and a bunch of the others are all gold. Well, oh, got him. No, they can, no, no interacting with them. And he, that turn to gold is interacting. I cast that before you requested it. Oh, wait, he's not going to say anything because he can't interact. Motherfuck! Oh no, he will. Because he's. I cast that wait. before you said that. Wait, he was frozen though. Can he even do a spell when he's frozen? That was before that. Remember when I had you guys roll a con save? You roll a con oh. save? Oh wait, but he can't interact with us and with the loved ones. And they are on. It was. Head. It was. It was before it the was whole before... person. Well, yeah, no, no, no. I'm just trying to think here because they're still technically under my leadership, right? Mm-hmm. So he can't. Don't interact worry. With them I will not be anyway. interacting with those who escaped, or with any of the others. Per your request, all those under your leadership will be left alone, as well as all their loved ones, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He's going to glare at him with hatred. I mean, it's going to take a long time to fix the statues, but still, just 
better than how I, ironically it's still better than how I thought this was going to end because he can still somewhat save the statues but anyway you did forget to specify one individual you said those under you you never said yourself Time has passed. You only got six seconds to make your make your shit. Make your request. Draw your sword. I challenge you to a duel. Oh. Oh no. Brit Marcus. Spinning real one. <laughs> Marcus, can I get a wisdom save from you? Twenty two? Twenty two? Hang on. Let me check the rules on this. Okay. Is this compelled duel? Is this what it is? He's a paladin? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. <laughs> like, wait a minute. This sounds like compelled duel. Okay. Um... I'm sorry. Reroll uh, and also roll a charisma saving throw. Wait a minute. No, he still can't touch me. Yeah. You know why? If the spell's not coming from him. Oh. Well. Wait. Charisma saving. Actually, you know what? Give me a uh, give me a perception check. Okay. All the perception. So many perceptions. Uh, give me a, give me a perception and a charisma save. Okay, so perception check is eighteen. Okay. Uh oh, that's not good. That is a thirteen on that charisma check. Okay. Um as you as he stands tall and readies his sword. I'm gonna say yeah, I'm technically a loved one of Sorcha, so he can't do anything but Sorcha's not ahead. under you, she is your equal. Damn it, that's true. You two anyway. have a very <laughs> positive relationship. <laughs> you ain't some backwards. <laughs> she is under me. <laughs> that. That's I... why I tried to say what I did about those you entered the Feywild with. Yeah, that was that was good advice. All right. Um, pleasure for having a healthy relationship. What the hell? I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, he is. <laughs> Just time reminder as well, Markham. Yeah, I am. I'm keeping an eye on that. We we are past the outro time. We are. We are. Mm -hmm. I thought we were past that. No, I thought just that was... a time. Yeah, by like three minutes. Like starting the outros, which we have ten minutes allotted for. So as long as you finish up in the next oh, okay. two minutes, we should be good. All right. So we are. Okay. I thought I thought we had another like 20 minutes or so. For some reason, I thought it was um, 1030 Central. I read that wrong. All right. No. <laughs> okay. Just you go, Mark. I get time zones mixed up, okay? This whole... <laughs> How? You only got down. one... To... We also got it written out central for you. Yes. Yeah, I know. I haven't been referencing it this session. I've been busy. That's this... why I sent a reminder a 20 minutes ago. Marks. There's a lot of rules being thrown this session. It's like we're playing D&D. &D. Crazy. It's a concept. But yeah, what happens... Yep, you're right. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, you hear Ahanala come running out. He turns and he goes, Ahanala, 
I was hoping you would be here, you snake. And he goes, you can't touch me. You can't hurt me. I, I mean, good with Loki. If you hit touch me, Loki will kill you. And he's going to whoop. And you suddenly feel sucked through dimensions and time and space and find yourself standing on the very balcony you had banished an archdemon from just a few days, hours before. As Ehanala ran interference and then yeeted you from the timeline. What? What? So wait, who is around me right now? Uh, around you right now is a few very discombobulated um, devil butlers and undead butlers. Uh, and uh, two of the teens that had been helping you out that had passed their... their uh, con saves when the initial spell attack happened. And they're kind of looking yeah. like... What the heck happened what there? The... I don't know. I don't... Where is it? He's going to turn and realize where he is and go, Oh, fuck. Get behind me. Get behind me right now. And he's going to pull out the mace and uh, shield and just shield them and go, Oh, shit, we're back here again. Mother fuck. And as you arrive on top of the building with you guys down in the bowels of it, that is where we're we'll so close the session. yet so far. Right? I really wanted to get him out of the Feywilds this session. <laughs> I have to put him in. <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Outros. Um. Let's start with Sir Wellington. Hey, I'm Ian. I play Sir Wellington, the the little the little gnome child who who is everything's okay. Nothing has gone wrong ever. Never. What's she talking about? Nothing's so gone wrong. So ever. peachy. So peachy. Everything's fine. Oops. Uh, Naz. My name is Naz. I play Abigail. Yeah, you do. Marcus. Very proud. I was Man. very impressed. I'm so sorry that combat took 50 minutes. <laughs> that was the weirdest form That's of combat. That's the most rules lawyering I've ever had in a session since I played with a rules lawyer. <laughs> that was. It that just, was. I felt like was, we were in we court. Even... <laughs> Yeah, we weren't even just talking about D&D. &D, we were talking about literal, like, mm -hmm. fake rules. Holy shit. Um, Aren't you glad you know me? Yeah. Who's yeah. in law and the master of Fae? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Salki. But yeah, no. Matt, play uh, Marcus, who, I gotta admit, did a lot better than I thought he would. He did really good. And to be fair, like, think about everyone else but himself. That is very in character for Marcus, so I guess. But yeah, so yeah, now he's back in the Devil Castle. We'll play. All fun things. All fun things. All very fun things. And lastly, Selkie. It's me. Hi, <laughs> I'm Selkie. I play I play Callie in. Uh, what's my outro? I'm Selkie to the internet. Callie in the Lost Continent. That's my outro. Uh. Catch us back here tomorrow where Markham, Naz, and I are going to be playing with some Legends of Kralis, where we're going to stop being political and actually do some adventuring. Mm -hmm. We have finally so escaped to the Fey back Realm. To adventuring. What? We finally escaped the Fey Realm. There was no Fey. There was there was no Fey involved. Um, huh? In Kralis. Oh, there that! There was no Fey involved. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I, I Markham. zoomed out. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Spaced out. <laughs> Good morning, Marco. Good morning. Yeah. Um, anyhow, catch us there tomorrow. It's going to be fun times. Um, D and now has fun games almost every day of the week. So if you want to stick around with more D and D, hang out, All hang right. tight. There's going to be one forever. All right. Whenever you want. Yeah. Markham. Uh, I am. Take Mark us away. All right, I'm Markham, uh, Mr. Markham on like all platforms. Uh, I've been your uh, your game master tonight. 
Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we will be back to having the party all together next week. Finally. Maybe. Uh, we will be starting off with a very long and I, I know this is going to be an intense discourse between Sir Wellington, Abigail, and Callie. Um, and then it'll get more intense once Marcus finds them. So I'm excited yeah. for that. <laughs> He's going to be that Danny DeVito meme. Right? It's right. going to be a fun time. Anyway, so I start blast. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Uh, stay safe and stay lost, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.